And hello, everybody. Fuck! <laughs> Happy Saturday. <laughs> we are Hard Knock Dice. My name is Jonesy, your dungeon master for the evening. Tailspire is being weird with me for some reason. There we go. Summon players to this board. Wonderful. Um. Anyways, like I was saying, we are Hard Knock Dice. My name is Jonesy, your dungeon master for the evening. And these people over here on this side of me and down there, some places are your heroes for the evening and my best friends. I had the stream open on my phone and then I started hearing it as I started talking. <laughs> so anyways, um, as far as announcements go, uh, Crowley should be joining us a little bit later. So have no fear. The mask man should be here. Um, we are still working on our charity stuff and trying to solidify stuff that we want to do and people that we want to work with. I'm looking at potentially working with some people in TGRPG community because they have some awesome stuff out there. Um, so stay tuned. We are going to get our charity run going back again. I know you see our extra life thermometer down there, which I can actually actually removed uh, uh, for now. But anyways, um, I think that's it. I think I have no more announcements. All right, so let's get into it. You sure? Nothing else? I, I'm trying to think of something for <laughs> you guys. Nothing at all? I'm actively trying to think of something for you guys. Any announcements, you guys? Anything you want to... Uh... <laughs> uh... Okay. Crow Crowley's birthday is Monday. Live. Do you want to give him his birthday D20 for this year preemptively when he gets here? Or... <laughs> Or is that next weekend if he lives? I think we've we've said the birthday has to pass, right? That's what we've learned oh. in the past. Oh god. Yeah. The birthday has to have happened or be on that day, so the rule stands. Anyway. <laughs> Last we left off! The Shining Vanguard fought their way into the maddening hive of Alara. Protected by sacred sat from the crawling ope, their minds were able to withstand the constant assault of this twisted realm. Our heroes met an unusual but seemingly friendly being who called itself Nelki. After a bit of rest and planning, our heroes followed Nelki through sharp corners in space and time and eventually made it to the top of the Queen's Hive. Gandowin heard voices along the wind, plotting of some sort, but not enough was heard before their presence was detected. Hurtled through time and space, an old acquaintance, Barathus, met eyes with Ganwin and gave a brief apology before her flesh was warped and twisted as she was transformed into an eldritch horror and turned on the party. When a killing blow was landed, the ground beneath them began to rumble as countless alien insects congealed into a Dalkir, a lord of madness that calls itself Valara. This is where our party stands currently in this strange in this strange realm on top of the hive. Valara's hive, even. As they attempt to rescue Kars Korta, her left horn. Who is in a chitinous flesh pod, hundreds of feet off the ground. RTM is hurtling that way in his quetzal form. However. We've already rolled initiative, and our party did not roll so great, which means Valara goes first. So, we are going to make some stuff happen real quick. As you guys see in front of you, I know it's just a giant vampire lady floating in the sky, but that's not what Valara is. If you don't remember my description, insects hatched from, from these hives on either side, bursting forth, forth from the ground, countless insects, an infinite mind-boggling number as they congealed and formed and climbed on top of each other. And Valara is now roughly about 100 feet off the ground. 120 feet, my bad, off the ground. And interposing herself in between you and not far from the uh, from the kindness flesh pod itself. With that, she is going to. Can you call me to the map? I haven't been called to the map. Oh yeah, I can. You certainly can. There you Thank go. you. My pleasure. 
Is it your pleasure, really? My pleasure. Not my pleasure. <laughs> I cry. <laughs> every, every time. I cry every time. She looks down on you. She is going to... Hold her action. Um, I can't yeah. remember. Uh, I think I asked you this last week, but I don't remember what the answer was. Did the the dragon turn back into a dragon after it was killed? Did not. Okay. Gotcha. She sits there, seeping in this same dark, foul liquid, with a hole in her chitinous form or its chitinous form and she thanked Gandwin as her consciousness faded um she'll be holding her turn and, uh, Melgrim that brings us to you buddy what would you like to do and then Gandwin you are on deck oh boy This is not good. Um, <laughs> what? Does anything around me look potentially flammable? Like, if I just start trying to create a big wildfire, could I potentially make it on the grasses? Make, uh, Make an investigation check for me. If you're like, if you'd like to look around, that'll be your action to do so, to see if you can see an area that looks particularly flammable that might go up fairly easy. That's what I would like to do. Yes. Go ahead and use your action to make an investigation check for me. Mm. Oh, that's actually a pretty good roll. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. You look around you. These small hives don't look don't look large enough to do much or at least you don't think they'd get much attention but you'll see in front of you a little bit towards the direction of Valara there are taller hives taller spires out of the ground if you look on the map you'll see them you think that if you could get a good fire that might potentially be something to get its attention okay so still got I... your movement and your bonus action So like when you say taller, the taller spire, are you talking about like? Yep. One of these. Okay, cool. You go to those. Yeah, you yeah. have a couple of them on your way that RTM sort of flying high above right now. Uh, yeah, we're gonna beeline it to that. Okay. Here it is. Well, let's see. Oh, why can I not? I cannot control my character. I think Can we we're in... Uh, oh, you're in cinematic mode, that's why. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Sense. There you go. Now you should be oh, able to. Right. So how much movement do I have with... I have... Bonus action is dash, right? Uh, n Unless you have an ability that lets you do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so 35, 35 feet. feet. Correct. And these are all five foot squares, right? Yep. You can just use the arrow keys to move your character if that makes it easier for you, so you don't have to worry about yeah. dragging, counting. All right. There we go. Anything else for your turn? <clears throat> and then I'm going to call out to our distraction team. Yellow. We have to get that thing's attention. I'm going to this spire to try to light it on fire.
How do you say that, Milgram? <laughs> uh, just yelling it out. Okay. Fuck it. All right. That's going to bring us around to Gandolin, and then Crowley, then Carr. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. I'm going to start off my turn by turning around to Gorum. I'm going to toss him my common healing potion. You look a little fucked up. <laughs> Drink that real quick. Uh, and then I'm going to turn around and... 35, 30, 35, 40, 45. And would tossing that to him have cost any kind of action? It's free object interaction. Free object, fantastic. 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. God, that did not feel like it got me very far. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, and just as I run past Melgrim, I'm like, you do that, I'm going to see if if I can talk to the bitch at all, uh, and that'll be it for my turn. All right. Any Ganowin's turn, it's going to come to Crowley's turn, who is going to, uh, whip his loot off of his back. It's going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He is going to start playing a tune. And he is going to give... Wait, he's got to make a performance check. Which I'm pretty sure he will beat on, but we will see. He will. Um, as a... Melody starts from Crowley's guitar filling your ears sort of almost drowning out the winds around you drowning out some of the chitters and the malls and everything he is going to give uh Koshik, Milo, Gorum, Gandolin, uh, Melgrum unfortunately RTM I th just think you're a little bit too far what's your passive perception in your Quetzal form I'll say it like that I don't know if it's the same or not. Oh, it's it'll be much lower because all a wild shape. You keep your wisdom, right? Yeah, you keep you keep your yeah, mental. So it would be the same. Which is what? Uh, which is it's fifteen. Fifteen? Like oh no, nineteen. Excuse me. I thought so. I'm gonna say you're perceptive enough to hear it as well because it's everyone within earshot, um, okay. and he will play as hard as he can and end his turn here by giving all of you an inspiration die. All right. How big if how big is his inspiration die? A d10. d8. Oh, a d10. d10. It, it just it just nice. upgraded last level. Gotcha. Nice. Thank you. No problem. I like bards. So And just real quick, what can that be added to? Just rolls. Attack rolls, saving throws. Yeah. Right. Skill checks. Yeah, I think attack roll, same throw skill checks are what it can be added to. Everything Carol I have di disadvantage on. Can add it to, yes. Everything you have disadvantage on, except for saving throws you don't have disadvantage on. Remember that. Or attack rolls. It's just ability checks right now. Right. For one level. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, that is going to end his turn, uh, which will bring us to Carr. What would you like to do? <sighs> for now. Right now. Three. Oh, there Dream um, a little dream. Give me a second, guys. <laughs> give me a second before anyone goes any further. Can someone check Hard Knock Dice and see if we're live? Or on Twitch, we are. We are? Okay. Yeah. All right. My both of, both of my streams stopped working, so. Yeah, we're still live on Okay. On All right. Twitch. So sorry. Uh, Car, go ahead. All right. Um, let's see. Ian, can you, um, can you show me where? Can you a little yep, you're back? right here. Do you see where you're at? You're right here. Right. And there, can you can you and show me where? We're all kind of running this straight direction here. It's hard to see, so you got 
RTM mm -hmm. is right here, and then even farther into that direction is where this is where Ballara is, and up okay. above that is where the, the flesh pod is. At. I was just trying to see where the rest of the party was in relation to me. Everybody's still kind of around you. Hold on, let's see. So, RTM's a little farther up. Meldrum is there in front of you. Gandolin's a little farther up in front of you there. Uh, Milo and Kashika right here, and then Gorham and, uh, and Crowley okay. right there. All right. How far is Melgrim? Where's Melgrim compared to me? Uh, He's about 40 feet in front of you or so. Maybe a little bit further. Yeah, 40 feet right. in front of you. Um, I'm just, yeah, at this point, I'm just going to run, um, you know, to try to catch up to him to have his back. Um, and I guess I, at this point, I just want to hold my action. Um, so if he, if Melgrim gets attacked, then I will, do I have to say what I'm going to do for sure? You, you, know what I'm gonna do. you gotta, you okay. gotta tell me the conditions and what you're doing. So if if um, Melgram's threatened, or you know if somebody, um, uh, then I will um, wild shape into a T Rex. It. Polymorph. Yeah. Polymorph into a T Rex. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna do the thing. I'm like, like oh, holy man. shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, whatever, I gave her an item, guys. Woo! It's fine. <laughs> holy fuck. It's fine. Yep. All right. Uh, you know. It's a hell of a wild shape. RJ, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, doing that, then ending Car's turn, that is gonna bring us around to Gorham. What would you like to do? Uh, and then Kashuk, you're on deck. Well, I am going to... <laughs> I'm going to drink that uh, health potion that Gandalin threw to me. Bonus action. Down the health potion. Oh, that was a uh, common health potion, right, Gandalin? Correct. A 2d4 plus 2. Ooh. 8 points. Nice. Every little bit counts. And then I'm going to grab my pants. <laughs> free action? I don't like the free action to shit myself. <laughs> Tales Park now, please, like, zoom out if I can see. Okay, I guess not. I don't, I don't worry about myself before we even start, because I was like, if, I, if I'm having to do this on the fly, it ain't going to work. Let me see where Melgrim's at. Okay, Melgrim's over here. I'm just going to follow Melgrim. Okay. Anything you need. I can't really set anything on fire, but you know. Okay. I should put a hammer. All right. And in Gorum's turn, that is going to bring us to Kashik. What would you like to do, Kashik? So hey. I am currently essentially at the mercy of Milo because I'm Spider Monkey and on his back. Right. So I'm just kind of holding on for dear life. Okay. You want to hold your action for anything? Um. Yeah. I mean, if we get attacked, I'll I'll cast um, Toll the Dead. Okay, Toll the Dead on some hostiles. Gotcha. Right. Uh, after Kashik's turn, then RTM and then Milo. RTM, what you doing? Um. Give me a second. You're a little bit in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a really weird situation. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and and move up. Thankfully, we have that marker of a uh, tiny Archie. I'm still way up there. 
in, as it were. So, uh... I don't see a tiny Artyom, but... Yeah, he's still there. I can't see him, but I can move my camera to him. Interesting. I can't see Tiny R team anymore either. It's gone. It is to right there, though. Artyom, I'd That's... like you to roll a percentile dice. Sure. Uh, uh, 66. Okay. All right. Anything else for your turn? Um. Yeah, I just like to ask her. Um. What do you wish of us? We are here in your home. You've let us get this far. Why? And that's my turn. Give me two seconds. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. And uh <clears throat> that's with uh my Kalashtar mental ability, not with trying to use the normal one. Should roll this percentile again? No, sir. I do not, but I do need you to roll an intelligence saving throw for me. All right. I don't think that's super hot for I me. Mean, maybe it is. I don't remember. You have proficiency. I think, I think it's a plus seven. Okay. Awesome. Plus seven. He's within 30 feet of me, right? He is nowhere near. <laughs> yeah, I'm right next feet. to Gorham, right? Yeah, he's right next to Gorham, right? Uh, <laughs> that is a 22. Yeah, 22. That is a failure. Oh, right. fuck. <laughs> oh, no. It's literally impossible for me to succeed on this. <laughs> Artyom, as you reach out to this thing's mind, an impossible echo in... Wait one second. I'll wait. Hold on. I might not actually be able to do that. Okay, no, I can still do it. Cool. It's a, I have to use an action for them to be able to respond to me. Cool. When you reach out into this thing's mind, your words come out, and then horrible screeching and feedback just enters your mind. The comprehension of thoughts just overwhelms your mind. Um, you take nine points of psychic damage, half, because you're a class star. Okay. And you are stunned. Ooh. For the next minute. <laughs> for the next minute? Okay. You instantly fall 60 feet. All right. I don't remember how high I am. I might have been actually 60 feet up. When you do the control, it should tell you your distance. Yeah. When you yep. just oh, okay. press control on your and just yeah, do the I'm 60 feet up. So I, <laughs> I instantly fall. Take. So that's uh, how much damage? <laughs> 66, right? Or it's a D6 for every 10 feet. For every 10, for every 10 feet above 10 feet, right? Oh, so 5 okay, D6. So five D6. That was a all ones. Point. Let's go. You take 26 points of bludgeoning damage. Hey, I didn't take any damage. I'm just not a Quetzal anymore. <laughs> or did, was it reduced to five? Reduce to four or reduce to five for the psychic damage? Uh, it's nine halved and we round down for damage. So four. Oh, all right. So I just lose Quetzal form. Okay. On the flow. Oh, fuck. He hit the floor. Oh. Uh, 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 oh. We lost our DM. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is that? 
Oh no, the stream can't see it. I'm heartbroken. Why can't the stream see it? Oh, I'm so hurt. Oh, well, That's you so guys get to see sad. it at least. Uh, <laughs> I'll post it on the Twitter. Go follow our Twitter if you're here and you want to see <laughs> Valara's face move a little bit. No. Artyom, as you reach out, this thing says to you. What, remind me of what you said, because there was a lot that happened in between that. Uh, I, I just asked her, you know, essentially, you've let us get this far. What do you want from us? I want you to join me. Join our cause. I don't know. You fight for a better world, so do I. Can you not see that? Sorry, stream. You didn't get to see it. I thought it was a cool little look. So. <laughs> Production value out the window. Should have tested that beforehand. All right. Oh, no. Um, so <laughs> that's your turn, RTM, uh, which is going to bring us to Milo's turn. Milo, the top of your turn. You hear a voice. Milo. It's time, Milo. Get the crystals. What would you like to do with your turn? So just to clarify, the voice said, it's time, get the crystals. Correct. And this is immediately after seeing Artyom just tumble from the sky. About. <laughs> Yay, dramatic. Well, oh, fuck that JPEG. Well, oh, fuck, bro. Uh, while double moving forward, I will think back to it as best I can. Uh, what do you mean, get them? Take them where? Uh, you don't have to ask questions, Milo. You know what crystal she's speaking of. I know what crystal she's talking of, but like, and do what with it? She's not given any further instruction right now. They, they, they have not given any further instruction right now. She just said, get them. And they are back on the ship, are they not? They are not. They're in the bag of holding. Because we're really smart. <laughs> <laughs> Our brains are uh -oh. large. <laughs> Wait, are they in the bag of holding? I think so, yeah. Yes, they are. The, we stuck them in there because, oh dear God, if they blow up on that ship, we are done in rings. <laughs> that, was, that was our thought process. Yep. This is quite the pickle. I, they don't mean like these crystals that are in all these little floating islands, do they, by any chance? What would you like to do, Milo? I want to go home. I'm going to stick with my guns when I say uh, moving towards Artyom and asking back. And do what with them? What do you want? Uh, can you make me fly at the end? Wait, what? She said the path is forward. I will make you fly as well, Kashi. Thank you, I love to fly. <laughs> Friendly reminder, Kashi, just in case something were to happen to Milo, you have your gloves at your disposal. Oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck, God, JP! <laughs> oh! RTM retroactively because I I made a note to myself to remind you guys of your things at your disposal would you like to use your inspiration die to succeed that save oh 
Uh, I'll give it a shot. Uh, that brings it to a 28. That will succeed. Okay. You'll get back 26 health. You still take the, the psychic damage half. Right. Okay. Let me... I am attempting to be as nice as I possibly can. I am a benevolent god. Okay. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I'm going to move Kaushik right up behind you there, Milo, who is piggybacking on you. What would you like to do, Milo? I mean, that was my, uh, both of my moves, so okay. that's all I can do for now. Did you take the crystals from the bag of holding? I don't, I don't have the bag of holding. Kaushik does, I think. Correct. Back. I do, I do. Um, and the voice said to me, the way is forward. Path is forward. I am at least abiding by that for now Very well. while he thinks all right ending Milo's turn that will bring us back to her turn RTM he watched her blink out of existence This is really hard. This apparently only works on the ground, I think. Uh oh. Hmm. We'll see. Right about there. Oh. She turns and just kind of looks at you strangely. It is a perfect world you seek, yes. So too do I. Join me. Stop the struggle. I do not wish for your death. No more than you do. How does our team respond? Um, yeah, I, I will, uh, I will, uh, say more aloud this time, not with a Kalashtar connection, <laughs> for freaking sure. Um, uh, hey, what, what is your end goal? What, what do you do once the world is taken over? Do you move on to the next world, the world after that? It is not about taking over. It is about becoming one. A singular path. Forward. And up. Um, this is where She looks to you, RTM, and says, Maybe without your friends in the future, you will fall in line. Sorry, come again? <gasps> she says, what? Maybe without your friends in the picture, you'll fall in line. Excuse me! No! Mm -mm. Um, I should have had this ready, but I do not. So give me a moment, please. Um, it shouldn't take me too long. Am 
am I still allowed to talk with her, or...? Yeah, go for it. I'll let do this. Hey, it's, uh, my friends are one of the things that gives me strength. They work together well as a team. Our individual abilities are what makes us strong as a whole. But if we were all one entity, I don't see how this would benefit us. That's why I'm having trouble understanding how you make things better. Just trying to keep it conversational. Why did they go into the ground? Can anybody tell me that? As insects rise from these hives in the ground around all of you, alien-like insects that apparently burrow a lot and go underground when I don't want them to. Uh, oh God, the mushrooms! This is this is how I've done the done them before but these are being difficult for some reason the ones on Kashik and they keep just disappearing uh, I don't know where they're Good. going <laughs> all right well we're just gonna totally have to alone. agree that these are on you and uh Milo so three sets are summoned around the I lot of you anything <laughs> I do apologize, guys. This is more complicated than something I've ran before, so. You're good, you're good. She lied the gun drops. Take um, time! I rush! Artyom, I need you. Well, actually, I have to roll first. Um, uh oh. Should have been more ready. Wow. Uh, fairly low. Um, does a 16 hit your AC? Uh, I'm still a bird, so yeah, it hits me. Okay. Um. Oh, Jesus, fuck. <laughs> I think I'm more nervous than y'all are. Oh, fuck, bro. <laughs> um. I don't think you are. Disintegrate. <laughs> That does it. Do double ones on the damage dice. Thank you, D and D Beyond. Uh, RTM, you take eight points of slashing damage. Okay. As her form starts to roil and writhe, and you see just made of these insects that make up her lower half extend out into a massive scorpion claw, which comes down and pinches you. And I need you to make a strength saving throw. Okay. Bug. Uh, really good. 19? What is a failure? Fuck. I think it's gonna get much better than that. <laughs> that was the 17. <laughs> She's crying. <laughs> Flex. You take 21 points of bludgeoning damage and you are grappled. Okay. So, along with that, Crowley, Milo, Kashik, and Melgrim, I also need you to make strength saving throws. Is this because of the bugs hitting us? Do I told the bugs dead? Yeah, you did have your action held for that. I will let you toll the bugs dead. 
Do you need my saving throw first? Either either way, it, it does not matter. So. Sorry, this is a strength, correct? Correct. Strength Four. saving throw. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to do it. Oh, <laughs> roll my die. Hold on. I got a plus zero. Do I roll this with advantage or disadvantage? Uh, this is a saving throw. You do not. Sick. Not bad, I rolled an 18. But it fails, doesn't it? It fails. Fuck. Might be different for the bugs versus her. What about Inspire? Did you use your Inspire? Yeah, you do still have your Inspiration. Detail. That's true. Okay, y'all. Use it just to make sure. Oh, that was a 7. Okay, so 18 plus 7 is my roll. 25. Succeeds. Sick. Did they roll their save for their dead toll? Uh, not yet. Okay, cool. Just no rush. Uh, 26 from Malcolm. 26 succeeds. Oh, I need to roll one for Crowley. And then Milo, Milo, you as well. It looks it's like Milo two. rolled one. <laughs> What'd you roll, Milo? It was a two after my bonus. That is a failure. That was a nat one. And you rolled a one on your inspiration? I didn't roll my inspiration. Oh, okay. After seeing a nat one, I wasn't about to waste it. That's very fair, yeah. Succeed, succeed. Failure on Crowley's part as well. Um, Melgram succeeded. Uh, Tasha, it's a wisdom saving throw. Correct. Yes, sir. They just spontaneously combust. It's a natural one. Go ahead and yeah, they do spontaneously combust. Let's go. This is important. And they haven't taken damage yet, so it's just the D8s, not D12s, correct? Correct. 2D12 plus 5. Okay. Ooh, not good. 9. Alright. 9 points of damage to the swarm. Eh. Milo and Crowley both take 21 points of bludgeoning damage. Why they do that? <laughs> As she grabs onto you, RTM, these insects grapple you up and around. You see her swarms act seamlessly with her. They turn into a scorpion hand themselves, grapple out at everyone within their range, and clamp onto you as well. Milo and Crowley are restrained. Or grappled. Sorry. I went ahead and lit a candle for the homies, so... What's what's that constitution saving throw? Milo? Oh, Oh, yeah. concentration. Got uh -oh. a 10 or a higher, and you're pretty good at them. Yeah, luckily I am. Thank God for... Efficient. Efficient. Oh. Yeah, as a 13. 13 will succeed. Woo! Okay. Butthole is clean. That's what that inspiration's being saved for. Um, alright. Um that is going to end her turn. That is gonna bring us to Melgram. What would you like to do? Yeah, yeah, I'm on a one track mind. So we are going to. Fuck it. Try to run towards that spire we were running towards in the beginning. Okay. One. Two. That's five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Right there. Okay. 
you have your action to get up to it this round if you'd like to dash yeah we'll do that okay you got your bonus action if you'd like to do anything with it your object interactions as well and then gandle when you're on deck yeah that'll be it okay any Melgrim's turn that is going to bring us to Gandalin, what would you like to do? Oh boy, um... Presume I see the homies getting attacked by bugs, but I mean... Yeah, there's a little... We gotta, we gotta, handle, we gotta handle business, if we don't handle business, we're pretty fucked. I'm gonna keep running. Five. God, that is a lot farther than when you start zooming out. It's so far away. 35 feet. God, I'm very far away. I'm Gandalin, go. Yeah, I'm fucking I'm running as fast as I can, I'm just hauling ass. I need I need to I need to hold on to something so I'm, I'm still gonna boom me keeping my key for the moment. I'm just trying to get over there. Okay. And in your turn, that is going to bring us to Crowley's turn. Um, he's going to attempt to shake these things off of him. Uh, with an... Got it. That's much better. Shit. Bitch. Oh. <laughs> Trying to think what would Matt do in this situation? Um WWM Vicious Mockery. <laughs> <laughs> Play dead. Uh. He's gotta try to get out. That's what he would do. Uh, with a 16 plus 8, he will do so. Um, you know, run up here to for him. No, no, I want a measuring tool, please. Thank you. Let's see if I moved him too far. I did a little bit too far. Okay. Um, had to use his action to do that. Uh, He's going to bonus action, seize Milo grappled, and use a bardic inspiration to give. Fuck, are you in range? Um, bardic inspiration is 60 feet, correct? Yep, 60 feet. Milo still has his inspiration die. He does. He does. Everybody does, don't they? Nope, I used mine. Kashuk used hers. Feeling that link break? He'll use <laughs> Bardic Inspiration on you and give you a Bardic Inspiration die. Um, Thanks, and that will end his turn. Car, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Ah! <laughs> I want to go home. No. Yo, same. <laughs> I know. I don't like it here anymore. Um, I never liked it here. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess I am going to be keeping up with Melgrim, so I'm going to move, like, right, got his back, and then I want to do, um, so I know I'm a little bit behind him, so to kind of catch up a little bit for my bonus action, I want to use aggressive toward that pin. I know that has to go toward the enemy, so I'm going to focus on the enemy and use aggressive to help me get caught up. Okay. Um, and I'm going to continue to hold my action, and I'm just going to be, can you, you can hear me 
singing, even if you can't understand it in Orkish, it's just kind of like a sing hum. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mama be so proud of me? What are you holding your action for? Um, again, if they're well, shoot. Okay. Um, you can yeah. use your action to dash and get closer. You can use your action to go ahead and polymorph if that's your ultimate plan. Um, you have a you have a lot of options to you. Know, I, I would say holding your action, and this is just my opinion. I'll let other players weigh in. That I don't think holding your action in this situation is going to be very helpful. Well, yeah, because it's so unpredictable. Okay. Um, <laughs> do what? So just you just got to commit to doing something. Basically. Just commit. Just commit. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. have a question. So there are all these bugs, mm -hmm. right? Um, so I have a spell. I have a feeling. Um, the giant insect spell. Would mm -hmm. that work on any of them here? Or is it because they're otherworldly that that doesn't you want to make them bigger? I don't, and that may be a, <laughs> that may be cheating to ask. I don't know. I may have to just try and see. But I would say that Car is wise enough to realize that there are no insects here of the natural world. Okay. So none However, of the natural I'm not going to rob you of your spell. If Car had some jars or something in her pack of various spiders and or scorpions you could use those what you got girl what you got alas no so in that case um well, as I, we, i'm saying oh, like oh. not just like out of role play purposes not necessarily in your inventory right now oh okay um well in that case yeah let's say i just i think she would know that circumstances change so she would keep some stuff in her backpack at all times okay. so um in that case one of those pet barking mosquitoes shake up the hive bomb <laughs> right oh god no <laughs> please don't throw that forward <laughs> i'm up there <laughs> yeah um so i'm going to pull out as i'm running i'm going to kind of reach back there and just grab around Grab the first like clay jar I can tell by the shape and pull it out and running, singing, hope it and toss out um the jar is gonna be um five wasps. And so I'm gonna giant insect those. Okay. Um, and have them go do we have bugs on us right now? Nope. Not on Show you. Me. Nope, you do not. Nope. They're okay. back behind you. Okay. And mostly, they're the only ones that are still actively on people are the ones that are up here on. There's some on uh, Milo and Kashik. Okay. Um. So let's see. So those will last up to ten minutes. So I'm gonna send them up and have them just like buzz around and I don't know. Try to be distracty. Have them like just kind of attack you know, i'm gonna tell them to attack the bugs right anything to stir stuff up attack the bugs behind you or uh, so it's got a range of 30 feet so you can cast the 30 feet behind you towards the bugs that are on your friends or 30 feet in front of you heading towards valara which one are you doing towards the ones i'm sorry behind me towards the ones that are on my friends okay. to try to be like a distraction and hopefully a help to be like a distraction Mm -hmm. The wasps, the wasps, the wasps. It's totally on purpose. I absolutely did that on purpose. Um. Okay. Awesome. Only do bug puns from now on. I will. <laughs> all bug puns all the time. <laughs> As I find a an appropriate uh representation of your wasp, bug. that is going to bring us around to Gorum. Your turn. Boy. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, drink the common health potion that I already had. <laughs> Great success. <laughs> Bonus action. Chug that potion. 
Get some more health back. Okay. Some ocean in Ooh. the motion, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, it's, it's ugly. Ooh. Okay. Minimum. Minimum healing. Okay. Mm. Still HP, though. Still HP. Every little bit counts. Every little bit. Every I little mean, bit. I guess. I hate that you keep saying that, Jonesy. Jesus. He's right, though. <laughs> That's the thing. I mean, I'll wait until you're looking at your character sheet with two hit points left, and you're like, oh, yeah. That, that healing. That's when, it's when you get that one hit point left, and you're like, oh. Every, every, every action counts a lot in this situation, so using a bonus action you wouldn't have used now is super good. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that's it. I'm not really sure what I what, what else I can do. You can just use your movement to get up there. You have an action, yeah. so you can. Uh, well, that's a double move. So is it? Yeah, move and dash. Yeah. Gotcha. You can use your movement and your dash. You're gonna get up here and help your brother. Hopefully, make a racket at this large nest. All right, and in Gorham's turn, that's gonna bring us to Kashik and RTM. You're on deck. Kashik, what, right. what would you like to do? Um. Can Kashik intuit how these bugs are looking currently? They're looking kind of. I'm kind of rough, or are they looking still pretty peachy? There are fewer of them than there were before. Oh, I swatted a couple. Okay, gotcha. So, time to swat a couple more. Okay. Toll the dead? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. going to double toll the dead, so roll for the, the double. I'll, I'll roll the first, which is a... F uh, they won't make it. Uh, what's your damage on that one? Such a twice. Nice. Does Kasha Gatter was the modifier to Cantrip's now? She does. Nice. Hell yeah. That's so good. That's so good. good. Potent okay, so that's so that's gonna be eleven. Because six plus five. Choice. Eleven is just what you needed. <laughs> good <laughs> shit. Nice job. So I didn't have to. Hell yeah. Go on Cast, somewhere. Can I, can I see other, or were they only the ones that were left were attacking me and Milo, correct? No, no, no. There are still two, <laughs> two more. Are they in range of a 60 foot toll the dead? Yes. At least okay. the one that was on Crowley is. Yeah. I'll, I'd like to toll them as well. Okay. They gotta pay the troll toll. They <laughs> do have to pay the troll toll. And some my riddles. To get into Crowley's soul. I'm not rolling well for the wisdom saving throw. Score more Look! damage. <laughs> <laughs> D12, two D12. Interestingly oh, enough, well, this much, not hers. much better. It's 18. Swat a significant amount, but they are still up. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'll get them next time. They can they can hurt. Okay. Does that end your turn there, Kaushik? Uh it sure does. I'm just still kinda Very much. Spider monkey. So, Holding on to Milo. Um, Artyom. Gonna All right. go for it um, to you. Oh, wait a minute. I don't see your Quetzal on the side anymore. Uh, I'm not a Quetzal anymore. I'm just a regular Artyom. All right. So I will, in that case, you are grappled in the air right here. And I will go ahead and summon you your normal self. I, I, I already have exactly marked where I need anyway, so mess up anything there you are all right um i guess i will i will just um say to her i tried to humor you but i am a member of the shining vanguard and i have followed the path of light for 1500 years i am here to defy you and I will use my bonus action to shapeshift into an air elemental. Use my hasted action to disengage. And then my movement and uh, action to move all the way to the egg. With five extra movement to get on the opposite side of it. Uh, what are air elementals immunities? I'm going to assume one of them is grappled. Yes. 
Nice. Elementals are immune to exhaustion, grapple, paralyzed, petrified, poison, prone, restrained, and unconscious. Very nice. Okay. Um, go ahead and move yourself. You're your ele uh, air elemental form now. Um, and you can move yourself to where you would like to be. He's a little tornado. He, with hands, yeah. Oh, I, I with love hands. that. <laughs> Look at him go. Um, okay. Uh, I need you to roll another percentage die for me, RTM. So let me move down just a little bit. There. Okay. Well, I think that's about right. More percentile dice. All right. Yep. Um, fifty-one. Okay. Um, th that's your hasted action. Your action. That's everything. That's everything. Okay. Yep. Um, very well. Very nice turn. You are right up on this pod. RTM, as you get up close to it, the space around it and the Lara itself seem to be warped and twisting in different ways as you get up closer and closer to it. You get up closer to this and you see purple lightning from the skies just striking the top of this chitinous pod just over and over as itself just makes all sorts of horrible abyssal slurping and movement as it continues to grow and pulsate as you watch this different different figures of flesh chitin plant matter different sorts of crawling insects within with no sort of clear opening but that's what you see um Ending RTM's turn there, that is going to bring us to Milo. Milo, you are no longer grappled. What would you like to do? I didn't get a, a follow-up message from the voice. You have said nothing. Uh, we'll continue moving and say... What do you want me to do with it? What do you want? I want you to free your quarter. This is what I want. What was that? Five, ten. I'm going to take like nine years to get there. Welcome to the club. For the, Just fly faster. It's a simple, I guess. We're working on that. You will need my help. Get the crystals, my love. Uh, ending your turn. Bring us back to the top of the initiative. She blinks once more. Right about there. And then her swarm begins to make her hover. Additional three feet. You cannot succeed. Stop before you all die. All right. Um, this is all going in in our head, right? Whenever she speaks. 
Whenever she speaks, you don't hear it from her mouth. You hear it from the insects within that just okay. comes out in this. I can't really simulate it well on what I got, but it just comes <laughs> out from all of these mouths and maws and mandibles and like locust swarms that just sort of fills the realm. So it's kind of like a whole stadium of insects chanting stuff at us. Exactly. <laughs> okay. That's horrifying. <laughs> I don't like that look. Don't don't make that look. <laughs> Say that is a twenty-one to hit you, RTM. Uh, yep, yeah, seventeen is my AC currently. Oh fuck, bro! You take fifteen points piercing wait. damage. Wait, wait, wait! Does she have? Is it a projectile? It is a ranged weapon attack. Is how it's classified. Do I have half cover or total cover from her? You're a large creature, correct? A big old egg thing. Let me free up my camera real quick so I can look. That's a pretty up. big egg, Jones. It's pretty, pretty big. That's how the point is pretty big. That's the point. Can't, if you look at the stream right now, I can't see you, not because you're completely behind it, but because of how white everything is for some reason. <laughs> well, hey, that still there. counts. <laughs> there he oh, goodness. Goes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, well, I definitely have total cover if you ask me, but... <laughs> if I ask you... <laughs> Right now, I can't even tell. It's so hard to tell the scale of things. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I Good. can't even, I can't even tell. I'm like, oh I'm, my god. I am glad it is. <laughs> it's like it's appropriate. His little head is definitely peeking over, so that probably be partial cover, if anything. But I just measured from her head to yours. Okay. So I will give you three quarters cover here for a plus five to your AC. Right, and then that would make my AC uh, 22. Okay. Wow, sick. Fucking air level is kind of really good AC. Holy well, shit. I'm hasted as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I, thought, I was like, Jesus. It's a 21 to hit. It misses. Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> She's going to do it again. <laughs> oh, no, 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 fuck. <laughs> What's your fucking problem? You're telling me a, a, a god has a multi attack? <laughs> this is bullshit. Ah, I thought that was only for things like cobalt. 24 <laughs> to hit. 24? Yes. Oh, well, that hits. Son of a bitch. Fuck. Shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. You take... 16 points of piercing damage. Ow. Okay. 2, 3, 4. Um... One. And I need you to make a strength saving throw. Is when she raises her hands and a swarm of cicadas rushes towards you at an unnatural speed and collides into your air elemental form. And you just uh. hear this massive droning sounds fill your air elemental head. Oh, 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 okay, that was... I saw their decks, I was like, they have a plus five strength bonus? Uh, that, that's only gonna be, uh, a 16. Okay. Um, you take 13 points of thunder damage. Okay. And you're not in a 15-foot horizontal direction of her choosing. They're explosive snakes. One, what the fuck? two, three... As they collide into your form and force you off to the side, you're just sort of knocked back away from this, uh, this flesh pot in front of you. Um, and that's going to end her turn. Uh, you said she did eight points of piercing damage or 16 points of piercing damage? Uh, let me go back. It was. Let me go back to 
rolling in D and D Beyond, so the so it's completely <coughs> fair. <laughs> it is sixteen points of piercing okay. damage. Okay, uh, that's going to be her turn. Uh, Melgrim, we're hopping over to you, buddy, and then Gandalin, you're on deck. Figured. All right, what would you like to do? Woo! All right, let's try to light this bitch on fire with my fire sword, I guess. Okay. Did you, you, already, had, roll? you already had your sword on fire? Yeah. From, from the dragon the, fight? Uh, we're at this fight, yeah. Okay. From the dragon fight. All right, go ahead and roll it. Uh... Uh, 19 to hit. Oh, to hit. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah. Just roll roll another attack for me real quick and let me know if you hit a natural one. No. Nah. Okay. All right. Roll damage for me. Um, Your intent is fire damage. Uh, yeah. Roll, roll the fire damage for me. Do, do, do. Thirteen. Thirteen fire damage. Um, I say you see the beginnings of embers and smoke. It's not fully on fire yet. Um, but you do hear so as you're slashing away, you just hear this from inside and you see things start like crawling down and away from your flame as you're just smacking the shit out of this hive trying to get a flame going on. You see a little bit of smoke start to like take on this weird papery wax material. Um but not quite yet. Not into full flames. Anything else you'd like to do for your, with your turn? Still got a bonus action. Movement. Gonna stick here for now. Very well. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Um, any Melgrim's turn that's gonna bring us to Gandalin. Oh, boy. Um. Why are you not on the side anymore? What the heck? Are you here? Oh, you are. Oh, it's because you have a uh, car selected. That's why. Okay. <laughs> That's why. Gotcha. All right. Go ahead, Gandalin. What you got? And then oh boy, uh, keep Crowley, then running. car. Baked cupcake. I'm a, Welcome to the party. I'm going to run some more. <gasps> 25, 30, 35, 40. 45. Action. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And at this point in time... I, 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 you gotta, I gotta, I gotta start burning resources. I'm gonna bonus action step of the wind to dash an additional 45 feet. Okay. 10, 30, 35, 40, 45. I'm just hauling as much ass as I can. Slowly but surely. Making it over there. Oh, the love them. No. Stay are away you, from me. Are you within that range? I can't see. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not there quite yet. <laughs> okay. Boy, all right. Your boy's trying, but he's not there quite yet. So that's that's burning all my all my actions to close this gap. Just gonna bring us around to Crowley. Matt, get here. <laughs> um, I think Matt will use the loot to fly, or I think Crowley will use the loot to fly. This makes sense to me. Why did? No, Crowley's afraid of heights. Um. I think he'd rather fly than be on the ground right now. And if I'm not mistaken, this makes his, uh, movement speed a little bit faster. 60 feet. Yeah. Uses his action to do that. And then he will fly toggle. There's a bunch of flying going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Right? That's fifty. He gets two more. Eleven, twelve. Okay, perfect. Um 
and everybody still has their bonus or their inspiration dice um right so bonus action uh i used i Melgram, used one of mine melgram used his yeah feeling that connection break crowley will bonus action inspire melgram um Okay. Um, ending Crowley's turn, that is going to bring us to Carr. Carr, what would you like to do? And your, uh, your Wasp will act on this turn to attacking the bug swarms behind you. Uh, you don't have to. I can resolve that. That's fine. Okay. No, that's fine. So uh, everybody, all, all my all my peeps are out of the bug swarm stuff now. They've all currently yes. Uh, all right, Kashik, you did your swatty thing. Okay, so um, I am going to, again, I'm going to move 30 feet. I'm going to aggressive move another 30 feet. Again, just hauling butt because the whole world around me is the enemy right now. So <laughs> um, moving forward. And when I hit that 60, I am going to cast, um, which one? Which one's it going to be? I'm going to cast, I don't guess it really matters. Um, I'm going to cast my third level call lightning um, at max range, 120 feet from me. And hopefully it'll have a bu bug zapper effect. <laughs> Just is, is giant bug concentration. It is. So that's why I was, I wanted to make sure oh, okay. before I, before I dropped that, that I moved. To, thank you for that reminder. Um, anyway, so I don't know if it'll zap or not. But if anything else, hopefully it'll at least be shiny and distracting at the very least. So, okay. So I want to I want to make sure because this is 120 feet right here. Ish. This is about 120 feet away from you, like straight in the direction of Valara. It's not. It's not quite up to me. And okay. Dan, oh, and Dan still pretty you. far out. And I'm still pretty far away. <laughs> okay. As I say, I don't. I definitely don't want it to hit you. I'm more like. Appreciate you know. it. I'll say yeah. if you want to, if you want, if that's what you want to do, you're you're more than welcome to keep your wasp out, or if you want to drop them for call lightning, then you could potentially use it to help uh, Melgram and Gorum light some hot, some of these hive larger hives on fire. Um, oh well, if it'll do that, yeah, let's do that. I didn't I didn't know it would have that effect. So yeah, let me at least try it. Okay. And with that, your your wasps do disappear. Okay. Let's try the call lightning. Let's see if it'll help get some fire going. You're just casting like over the. What's the radius on call lightning? 120 feet. That's the distance. What's the the radius? Oh, the radius. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. Yeah. My bad. You're good. You're good. Um, it is. Uh, and it's range, feet. it should say. Okay, yeah. so it's 120 feet, and then so... And then a 60 if, foot, yeah, cone, or so not cone. So you like, the around here would be 120 feet away from you, kind of in that direction. Okay. Can somebody measure a 60 foot sphere? <laughs> or like, I guess. Yeah, she if she doesn't want to cast it there, because I don't think much is going to be in the range of this. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to so figure gonna, out what will get the reach. most what will get the most hives. Probably behind her where Gorum and Melgram are. If she cast it behind her and right in between these two, she can hit two of them. Um, unless... Two. Yeah, she can hit. She can get two of them. That seems to be about the best thing right now. Yeah, that's about as good as it can get. Is if you go for right there. Okay, let's do that. So I'll just stop, okay. like skid to a stop, still low key humming. <laughs> it, it's an object that automatically fails its deck saving throw. Go ahead and roll damage. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that's a relief. Okay. Um. The one time. Okay, so that is going to be. A 12. Not very helpful. 12 damage. I have to ask you which one you are aiming for. The one Melgram and Gorham are on or the other one? Um, The one where they're trying to light the fire. Okay. Melgram and Gorham, you see lightning call from the sky as Carr reaches her hand back to assist you. Melgram, as you've slashed this thing and started the bottom, you see a, a, a 
uh, just an electric bolt streak down through this hive in front of you as you look over at her and look back to it and you see flames start to lick up this and you just hear like the small screeches just and popping of various insects as a fire has started in this hive hell yeah okay um does that end your turn car um yes because i have action bonus action and moved yes that's my that's my stuff very well um she's gonna use the legendary action <laughs> fuck no tell her to stop <laughs> no, that no, about what is? stop it stop it stop it stop it i like you guys i didn't want to die yet ma'am please like, there's no need to, to be dramatic, you know? Like, there's no need, there's no. No need for all the ma'am, this is a Wendy's. Like. I think the last thing you want to tell her is to calm down, okay? <laughs> right. You can talk this uh-huh. out. Uh-huh. You can talk about it. <laughs> no need for all of this. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of hoopla to me. I feel like I feel like there's been a grave misunderstanding. <laughs> like, we should make it our friend. Let us just take our friend home. You know, he got a little out of hand. We're going to just take him home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do We don't have to involve any authorities or... We're good. It's fine. Nothing As these swarms I mean... from behind come up and get back into place surrounding Milo and Kashik once more and also a swarm, you see overhead Melgram and Gorm one start to cover you as it starts to make it ways... makes it way... I can't talk. I'm so nervous <laughs> as it begins to make its way towards you. Um, this is going to cost. I need. I need intelligence saving throws from Milo Koshik, please. Just the two of us. Yep. Just the two of us. We make it, make it, if we try. You don't have disadvantage on these. You guys probably do have inspiration, I think. Zero. Oh, you're yeah. probably going to need their roll. Also, my life, you things. still have flash <laughs> of genius. All the things. Oh, yeah, okay. Will, uh... okay, so not bad if my d10 gives me a pretty good roll. Because I rolled a 17, so let's see what happens with my inspiration die. Come on, I believe. Oh, it's a six. What's that total? 23. 23? Yeah. Milo, what'd you roll? Oh, oh no. Um, looking to see how many of these Flash of Geniuses I got left. One. After this one. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to Flash of Genius myself, and that will bring it to a 23. Me and Milo are holding hands right now. <laughs> 23 just succeeds. <laughs> you both what would be 28 points of psychic damage to instead turns to 14 that's a lot that's a lot of damage that's all it's a lot less it's a lot less it could be if you would have failed you would have immediately lost concentration on all spells yeah that's not good I need to <laughs> oh, <laughs> I almost bro, bro. genius alright how much damage? 14, so? 14 so points of psychic. Bro. I'm about to throw up. <laughs> Alright. Uh, that is her legendary action. Gorom, it is now your turn. What would you like to do, sir? So, this hive is now on fire, right? Yes. You see the flames starting to lick up the sides and various things popping within. And it just got hit by uh, lightning. You didn't. No, no, no. You, yes, it it did. You didn't get hit by anything. It, yeah, that's hive. what I'm saying. It it got hit by lightning. Correct. It did. You see a car with a flash of green in her eyes and turning around and casting lightning on this thing to help you guys get this thing on fire, and hopefully get its attention. So I'm gonna move to the other side. Okay. Oh, actually, I'm gonna move. Take that back. And put it right here. I'd eat well after the lightning comes the thunder. I might smack it. Okay. With my hammer. All right. Uh, 16 
26 to hit yeah you just roll roll both of your attacks and as long as you don't roll a natural one yeah no okay. no ones go ahead and roll damage for me all right that's uh 16 bludgeoning damage and 16 bludgeoning damage what do you know okay as you do this thing begins to topple and a fire from within breaks out starts to spread on the ground an odd blue flame starts streaking across the hive itself and the ground all right great success great success would what else would you like to do with your turn be concerned <laughs> okay <laughs> As you are concerned for the rest of your turn, that is going to bring us to Kashik. What would you like to do? All right. So, what am I looking at here? Are there any more? There's no more bees. There's no more bees. Everybody's unswarmed. No, they, you are currently swarmed. What the fuck? Those are the things that made you make the end save. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, can I just ask before we go through all this? Um, how far, Milo, are we from her? From the queen. A long way. Measure for me, buddy. Far. Very, very yeah, far. Yeah, I know. I'm more one far. I one need, moment. I just need to know how far. I got a plan for the future. Well, while second. you measure, I would go ahead and I'm gonna oh, go ahead and chop some else. Measuring. I got you. Roughly 730 feet. <laughs> oh, that's a lot I thought. Oh, that's, oh, that's, no. that's just. Oh. That's just on one dimension. She's also probably at least a couple air. hundred feet in the air, I think. Like eight Maybe a little bit less. <laughs> oh. Eight, oh, eight. oh, God. A double toll if necessary. On the uh, bees. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the bees. Two tolls is coming. Uh, I continue to fail these. Uh, back, go ahead and roll damage for the first one. Okay, give me one second, sorry. This one has not been damaged yet. Oh. Damn it. Oh, that's alright. That's alright. Suppose. Here we go. Told it eight. It's just one button click. Eleven. Eleven? Okay. Yeah. I'm ahead of again. Hopefully. Buzzing and swarming, but it is there. Another one? Yes, sir. Two. Go ahead and roll. Wow. What the fuck? Jump. <laughs> oh, that's supposed to be D12. So sorry. Um, I am not budging anything. I have a log. I, I, want, I wanted to make 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 sure yeah. that if anything God, terrible fucking happened, yeah. this catastrophe. Yeah, that this lower. <laughs> that's exactly it. Actually, it goes lower. That's funny. Oh, uh, plus five. Okay, so seventeen total. You kill the swarm one. that surrounds you. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Milo, as you have a Kashik that is just dropping off of your back as she's hitting these swarms as like a mounted holy turret on your back, getting rid of these swarms that are around you. I'm just the black cannon keeps coming up and it just sounds like a pinball machine. Ding 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 ding. Is there anything else you'd like to do with your turn, Kashik? No, we almost had an emergency because Silas was an inch away from putting her little paw on the power button of my computer, but I'm good. Don't do that, Silas. Bad girl. I'm gonna cover this bitch up. I'm All right. Carry on. And then Kashik's turn. We now go back to Artyom. Artyom. Um, this this egg, this fella, this thing that I'm looking at, yep. is it just a completely solid surface or? What's, what's the actual structure of this thing looking like? Uh, it is, a, from what you can tell, a solid surface. And is, as I was trying to describe it for, just an amalgamation of flesh, chitin, plant matter, 
living things that you see crawling around and it is just constantly being assaulted by this purple lightning from above but other than that it just looks like a solid as so egg like a solid does, mass does like, the the plant matter seem like it is from like a druid like it's alien for the area like this is like a defensive cocoon give me a I'm gonna say if you're gonna try to determine this and see if it if that's what it is it will cost an action one of your okay. actions sure okay Roll an investigation check real quick. Uh, roll in knowledge nature, sorry. Knowledge nature? All right. I know I've got bonuses to it, but it's a natural 20 anyway. Woo! <laughs> Let's fucking go. That seems potentially um, likely. Potentially likely. Yes. Um, It's either that or this thing is trying to mimic from what, what's within, and if it's if so, it's doing a damn good job. But... Okay. Uh, I, I guess technically I can't see this creature. I will try to, I guess, reach out mentally to the area of this cocoon and be like, we're here. Let's get the fuck out right now. Hey, we're about to die. <laughs> you need to drop the cocoon and get the fuck out of here with the rest of us. We are in trouble. I know that's a little bit more than six words. Um, <laughs> no, the six words we've discussed, you can talk on your turn. The six yeah, words I mean, is it's, like it's mental, right? It's just going real fast. <laughs> it is, actually. It comes across as quick as a thought. Um, and uh, if that's my action, uh, I will use my... Just one of your actions just to do the nature check. Not right, talk. Not um, unless it says it costs that. Unless what says what? Unless your mental link says that it costs your oh, action no. to use. Uh, it costs an action for that person to respond. Um, gotcha. You did not receive response. And you said you said that that would cost me an action. Does it cost my my primary action, or what type of action would you consider that person or percept or nature check to be? It's your primary action. Right. Okay. So you still have your action. Um, in that case, I will <laughs> try to move behind this thing to break line of sight. Okay. Uh, and try to squeeze on up in there. And uh, I have to use my hasted action. I'm going to try to hide. <laughs> You're going to try to hide? <laughs> yeah. From... <laughs> I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I, I can't use my bonus haste in action to attack unless I've already attacked, so I can't try to like crack this egg. Yes, you open can. It. You want to, it's, it's an additional action. You can use it to make an attack. Oh, I yeah. thought you could only use the yeah. haste in action to attack. Okay, well then I'm gonna yeah, yeah. fucking beat the shit out of this thing. Whack! <laughs> okay. Uh, a 16 to hit. Ouch. 16 does hit and does deal damage to this thing. Oh, that's max damage for the air elemental tab. Uh, 2d8, which is 16 plus 5. So 21 points of bludgeoning damage to the side of it. God damn. A big smack to the side of this thing, carving down some of this matter and into it a little bit, splitting as you see bits and pieces drop and fall. Um, I, go ahead. I'll add to that. Knock, knock. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> When you hit it, you take seven points of psychic damage. I will take seven points of psychic damage? Correct. Okay. Half to three that, for you. Yeah, okay. As you hit this thing and touch it, Artyom, and everybody else back trying to make their way to this thing, the various sounds of swarms and wings and legs that had been around you or surrounding you before stops. The realm goes completely silent as Valara and every insect that you can see here, creature and the like, turns and looks up towards Artyom. 
Oh no, <laughs> RTM one. Oh fuck, bro. <laughs> no, buddy, buddy. Ending RTM's turn. That's bringing us back to Milo. Milo, what would you like to do? <laughs> That man is very, very, very far away. Correct. This is this is one of those times where that uh the 1200 foot Eldritch Blast would be really nice right about now. <laughs> yeah, right. You're Out of bitch, foul. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> so slow right now. Come on. Go, go fast or go loud. Be, be big. You want us to rescue the Kaparta? Help us get there. Get Archie back. Still just flying as fast as I can at my measly 60 feet per round. Are the are the crystals in your hand? Are you like flying with things like this? <laughs> Milo, make a persuasion check at advantage for me. Hell yeah. No, I'm going to portent that. I think. Checking one last thing. I will portent that and use my final flash of genius to make that a 22. Those of you back here, which would include Melgram and Gorham, Kaushik included, Kaushik with a puff of lavender smoke. You and Milo are no longer in the place that you were. M me too? You too. Oh. Oh, bye. <gasps> I get to get in on this? Oh. It is hard for me to find things, I apologize. This is the massive map. Bro, y'all's fucking Kashyyyk's and Milo's models have disappeared from me. <laughs> I can just see their little platforms. <laughs> oh god. RTM is you I'm see oh, sorry. Milo and with Kashyyyk on his back appear right beside you next to this thing. Okay. Anything else for your turn there, Milo? You're muted, Kat. Um, <laughs> does yeah. that happen before or after I took my 60 feet of movement? Uh, you were moving while you said that, so I'm going to say that you took about 30 feet of movement and then that happened. Oh boy. As you do that, Milo. Another gift. Get the crystals. Now. You know what? I'm gonna roll for it.
Will you harm their souls? Their souls would be released to me through it, Milo. Now enough with the questions. Throw it! It said throw it? Correct. Correct. He <laughs> <laughs> said, do it! <laughs> God, it's scary. That's so scary. <laughs> Uh, do I get an insight check to see if she was telling the truth about the releasing the souls? Throw it! Throw it! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm freaking out. Sorry. Oh, my mic's on mute. Nothing hit me heavy fucking breathing. <laughs> 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 I'm sitting here like... <laughs> I'm hyper I need a paper bag. <laughs> so same. What's that insight check? I think he froze. Frozen, frozen. He's <laughs> gone. That's, that's what it was. He's, He's gone. We did. We did not lose Milo right here. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, he's back. He's okay. Back. Welcome, welcome back, Milo. 15. Milo, what was your insight check? Fifteen. It was a fifteen. Okay. As far as you can tell. <laughs> Don't install the sure. mental going. Can't we hear any of this going on uh, in my head? We haven't had that. We haven't had uh, telepathic bond going for hours. Can I hear a, a gentle whisper? You guys can <laughs> still hear each other's <laughs> thoughts, but you do not hear this. Oh man! Look at my list of them, like oh, I can see the future. Like, as an empath, should be able to hear. I was just like, we've got jelly thoughts, but this isn't. It doesn't. Uh, jelly thoughts. <laughs> We're in the goo. <laughs> goo what does Milo do? You gotta make a decision here. Um, we'll say... Kashik, do you trust me? What? what? <laughs> Get the crystals. And I will take the defensive action for the rest of my turn. Dodge. Um... No, it's not my turn yet. I do want to uh, just shove in here and say a look of uh, distinct horror washes over <laughs> Kashik's face. Okay. Ending Milo's turn brings us back to the top of the initiative. To, to Valara. I hate her. <laughs> and that is where we're going to take our break. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, poor piece of shit, wow. <laughs> That is where we're going to take our break, guys. Uh, don't go anywhere. We're going to make this one quick, fast, and in a hurry because I want to get back to this. we got a lot to get through. Don't go anywhere. If you haven't followed already, drop a follow. I saw Baked Cupcakes has joined. Welcome to the party. You chose a hell of an episode to do it on. Uh, so we'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Give us like 10 or 15 minutes max. Much love. And hello, everybody. Welcome back. It is us, all of the same people that were here just a few minutes ago. To give you a quick recap, our heroes, the Shining Vanguard, have made it to the top of the hive. The Seething Hive, I believe it's called. As they have made it here, this realm's top-ranking denizen, Valara, has showed its face. And, well... They have now made it to their objective, or at least some of them. Some of them attempting desperately to get her attention by lighting things on fire and knocking it over. But the goal here, a floating chitinous flesh pod in the air, is now being assaulted. Every sentient being that is not them has turned their attention on their friends. So... Bring back the top of the round to Valara herself, who will begin to
measuring this is difficult. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know what? Yes. Blinks right there. Tends to oh. levitate. That's not good. And move right here. Hello there. As she summons once more back here on your friends. Trying to remember the number. Oh, no, wrong, copied the wrong one there. Huh? The swarm fills Melgram and Gorham's place. Oh. In Crowley's place. Yeah, yeah, things are going on uh, far away from y'all as well. And then we go back to her. She's going to make a couple of ranged attacks. Um, uh, shit. I've already done. Oh, no. I'm just going to roll the d6. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is it one? Kashik. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh no. I mean, I'm number one. That is correct. Me? <laughs> number the first one! Time in That's a number 32 one. to hit. She misses. Just hits. My AC is 33. We lost Jonesy. He couldn't believe it. The man was too stunned to speak. <laughs> there he is. Oh, there he is. I tried to get a screenshot. Oh, uh, minimum damage again. Um, eight points of piercing damage. <laughs> uh huh. <gasps> Shut the fuck up! Do not laugh at a god. <laughs> and then I need you to make a dexterity saving throw oh, no. for me. Oh no. What for? Am I gonna fall off of my limb? Ka maybe. Kaboom! Damage. Dex save. Total of eighteen. Eighteen. Mm. Oh, this is a Milo. I will. Dex, yeah, plus two, so sixteen plus two. Did you have, you have inspiration, or did you? Did you? Not it? anymore, my boy. Not anymore. Could I give her my inspiration? <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Uh, it is. Not... I know regular inspiration works that way. I don't know about the particle. Milo, I need you to. Uh, also make a dexterity saving throw. Oh my As this has a 10 foot raise. I can feel my heartbeat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, he's about to piss himself. I rolled, bet he rolled a net 20. That was a 25. Oh, fuck. I rolled my inspiration. Uh, 18 on the dice, plus 5, plus 2. 25 will succeed. Hey. So, yeah, well, 18, right? 18 will not. Are uh, you sure? Correct. Kaushik, you take 14 points of fire damage, and you are on fire. Milo, you take 7 <laughs> points of fire damage. As she reaches out her hand, and crawling from within her, glowing, these alien firefly-like entities just launch their way towards you, and as they hit you in your armor, stinging and biting you, Kaushik, they explode into a fiery ball around you. Well, good thing I can't be set on fire. I'm just kidding. I can definitely be set on fire. Get over there and pull firefighter. Help I'm just it. gonna do it again. Do it again? For what? Okay, I'm already on fire. Six. That's a Another six. One. That is RTM. Okay. Whew. 
Yeah, I can tough That's a twenty four to hit, RTM. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a nineteen to hit, RTM. Uh that still hits. I'm a bad bitch. You can't kill me. All right. I gotta calm down. I th I think this is, I'm making it worse than it actually is. Maybe I have not. to make a dexterity saving throw. No, not yet. There are okay. random effects at play. <laughs> oh, okay. Got you. Random okay. effects. I was, Correct. I was gonna say I was very concerned. I thought I thought Kashik was gonna get uh, yeeted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did too. You so it's like is it a hold on points of piercing damage. <laughs> okay. And then I had to roll a three. Oh, wait. What are your immunities? Uh, doo -doo -doo. So many tabs, so many tabs. My immunities are exhaustion, grappled, paralyzed, petrified, poison, prone, restrained, unconscious. Your air elemental form, she reaches out her other hand fires out alien-like silkworms as webbing attempts to grapple on to your air elemental form and restrain you and pull you down pass right through no effect great success do not laugh at the god great success unfortunately Kashik and Milo were hit with an effect which means Gorham and Melgram I also need you to both make dexterity saving throws for me. Did you see the insects around you echo out, start glowing with fire? Oh, fuck. <laughs> ah, fuck, bro. I got the magic number. <laughs> What's the magic number? 21. 21. What'd you get, Melgram? 23. I think I'm being close, brother. 23 succeeds. 21 does not. Uh, Melgram, you take 7 points of fire damage. Gorham, you'll take 14 points of fire damage and are on fire. Um... That's going to be her turn for this one, though, which this is going to bring us around to Melgram. Your turn. What would you like to do? All right, we're going to. Yeah, we're going to. Dash to this other one that's kind of close. Boom. And then shout out the car. <clears throat> car, we need to light this whole fucking place on fire if we can. Continue with that lightning. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, I didn't mean to ask before I moved. Would you let me toss something to my brother before I move as a free action? Yeah. All right. My health potion, I'm going to toss to him. Yeah. Oh, I, think I, need, I think you need... And then as I'm tossing it to him, I'm just, I think you need this more than I do right now, brother. was in there too. Fuck me. Fuck. I uh, with a 17 on the dice. Plus 8, that's a success. He will take 7 points of fire damage. Good okay. job, Crowley. Alright, that end your turn there, Melgram? I... Gandolin, it's your turn. 
Oh. Hug one of the hives and set it on fire. Oh god, oh jeez. Gandalf's not on fire, is he? No, no, no not. not just not the Gandalf. Not at the moment. Oh god, okay. Let's see. Oh fuck me sideways. Alright, we're gonna go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. God, I'm so far away. <laughs> Forty, forty-five. Try to get a little diagonal distance. It's very hard to judge this. You know what? Out of curiosity. God, Jesus. How far? Five hundred feet from her. Mm -hmm. Uh. Hey, Jones. Yeah. If you don't mind me doing this, I would like that second 45 feet to have been my bonus action dash. Okay. That's okay. I'm going to unsling my longbow. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to, I'm about to fire two arrows at her at disadvantage because it's <laughs> <laughs> my, my, the big yeet. Before I do that, though, I am <laughs> I, I'm going to do my best to yell at her because she's presumably she, she's everywhere. She can hear anything that's said here. Presumably. Uh, presumably. Uh, in Delkir. Villana, what you are trying to do is foolishness. As soon as you set foot upon the material plane, the legions will mobilize and the legions are unrelenting. They are unceasing. They are unfeeling. The only thing that awaits you on the material plane is failure and defeat. I'm going to release two arrows there. Okay. Go ahead and roll those attacks for me. Um, 14 on the first one. It's a miss. It was a miss. Second arrow. Uh, natural 20 and a 26. So, 26. 26 oh. will hit. Uh, and in an attempt to get her attention as much as possible, I'm going to make that a death strike. Okay. Cocks. Okay. That's a lot better. Uh, so six, ten. Uh, for 15 points of magical piercing damage. Okay. You loose the arrow loses itself into the swarm your other one just going wide just because of the distance and the wind here your other arrow is swallowed whole she doesn't even turn around you can just hear from either hive on either side of you whispers back horrible language filling your ears this time is not Last time, we will succeed. That's it. Yeah. Um, and in your turn, Gandalin, uh, going to do a legendary action. Um, it's got my priorities at the moment. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Milo, this is at you. For a 16 to hit. Three on the dice. A 16 will not hit. Right. Uh, it's going to be it. It's going to take us to 
Crowley's turn, who will continue to fly. Um, yeah, he doesn't like things that. This is 120 feet forward. I missed three point five four round actions. <laughs> that's, that's completely fair. Um, that is going to be his turn when he does so. Um, just going to bring it back to Tar, but before that, just going to take another legendary action. I wish you would stop doing that. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Come on. One, two, three, that's our team. All right. For a 16 to hit, and another natural three on the dice. Uh, I think that still hits me. Not your AC uh, 17 is an area elemental, is it? Oh, not? yeah, while well, I'm hasted. While I'm hasted, yes. While you're hasted. 17. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> Milo, you're a. A good party member, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you say You're that good. until my next turn, and I have to make a really hard choice. You're a good man, Milo Goggins. Thank you. you are. And good, good on you on holding that haste till the last possible minute. There's been four rounds. I, I have used yes. it, cause it. It counts yeah. every time it ticks on my turn, and there have been five ticks. So he gets five more of my turns. So on the sixth turn, turn it's been, yeah, it's been four more rounds since then. Okay. So you have five more rounds of haste, which is going to bring us over to Car. What would you like to do? Um, Ian, can you help? Ian, can you help me see how far I am from everybody? You are. So this is where you are. Mm -hmm. You have one dwarf, kind of off to your diagonal. You got another dwarf somewhere behind you. Uh, Where are my spires that I was lightning striking? These two. One of them is collapse, and this other okay. one, and this other one that's and that one. Okay. One. All right. And then in front of me, I'm what seven hundred feet from you are many feet many away. Feet. Yeah. Many 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 feet. Okay. Uh, just out of curiosity. Yeah, like <laughs> seven hundred and. 60-ish feet away from the big bed. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Alright. Plane of Madness is working for my guesstimation abilities. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I guess, yeah. Um, you know, Melgrim asked me to call down lightning again, so now I'm gonna that other spire that was in the dome and a call lightning down on there um automatically hits go ahead and roll damage okay <sighs> come on ddbr why you got that weird thing that i'm looking at it's bothering me okay. hey hey 25 what's up crowley 25. Crowley! In the middle Crowley of a fucking shit it. show, my boy! Crowley, uh, <laughs> I'll let me know when you're ready to be summoned into Tailspire. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I was just about to end call. I heard something about a shit show, and I was like, oh, bye. <laughs> I never mind. Um, okay. <laughs> Melgram, once again, a lightning <laughs> bolt you see right in front of you as car you reach out, that flash of green happening, bringing down a lightning bolt on top of this hive. The fl start of a flame has, has started again. Melgram, probably gonna need your attention. Or your butt, yeah, may need your help uh, next round uh, to okay. get to get fully started. Uh, does that end your turn there, Car? Um, just about. Just now, um, I'm trying to kind of like send out into the ether. Sing, now I'm kind of singing and kind of following um, Gandalin's example. I'm going to start 
singing in Dalkir. Um, but it's going to be um, the itsy bitsy spider went at the water spout. And that will win my turn. Dang card, though, they're losing her fucking mind. Oh, it's like kid things. Kid fun <laughs> things. Gotta stay in the kid zone. <laughs> okay. Any cars turn. Um, let's see if you're right. Car from the hives around you. Before you see anything, you hear a call back to you in this cruel tongue that you've learned being in close proximity to this gate. And you hear whisperings from around you. You're like spiders, do you? Is erupting from the hives around you and running at you. Just hordes of spiders erupting from these ants running at you. Um, I hate it too. I want to go home. There's no place like home. There's no place. And there is no save. All right. Fuck, bro. <clears throat> As they coat your body an inconceivable number of spiders from around these hives that surround you lifting you into the air even 10 feet you just disappeared off the screen oh. hello oh my oh, gosh. underneath the map somewhere the she's underneath like, the that, map somewhere apparently that thing? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. No. Like, yeah, when what? I click on is her, that, she goes underneath the map. Is that the, the thing? Is that the... I, I thought you meant a mountain of spiders just wrapped around her character, lifted her up, and then she just disappeared, and then was like, what? That's what I thought, too. <laughs> like, Something like that. Oh, that was, like, an harmonious way to go. Like, not... Jonesy said, not yet. <laughs> it's like, yeah, there's more the map somewhere. There's more, there's more pain yet. Hold that thought. <laughs> Lifting you 10 feet into the air. I put a new model on there. Um, uh, she is more in. She was not. Uh, it moved her from where she was. She was more kind of a little to the west, south, southwest Jones, kind of in line with Crowley. Gotcha. Right about. She was in a circle of them, so like right here or like uh, right here. Uh, she was and more to the more to the south. Kind of to her left, yeah. She was kind of behind Crowley, where Crowley is. Okay. Because yeah. she was like in line with the drag, the dragon corpse. Somewhere oh, along that line. Dragon corpse is way back there. Yeah, yeah. In line, like straight oh, gotcha, in front gotcha. of I it, understand. In front of I it. Understand. I'm saying from like the left to right axis. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Wait, here, move her to where she was. Um. Oh yeah, oh, yeah I can move her. She's, she's yeah, you're somewhere right. Like uh, back this way. As spiders crawl around you, car, lifting you into the air, binding your arms and legs so that you cannot move, you are restrained, and you are lifted into the air, as you see. There you are. Worms crawling from the hive near you. But not large ones like are pictured. I'm about to make them smaller. Small, <laughs> small, familiar ones. The kinds that took your tribe. Mother 
Thumper. It doesn't make it unique. That's unfortunate. There we go. Okay. Um, and that will be that. Ending that. That is going to bring us around to Gorum. <laughs> you have a couple of swarms that are right near you. What you doing, my man? All right. Uh, uh, I'm gonna scoot over here. Okay. Um, I will say at the top of your round, you take four points of fire damage as your clothing or everything around you still still is on fire. What is it to uh, put that out? It's an action to put the fire out. What is it uh, what, to reach into my bag and pull something out? Uh, free object interaction. Okay, cool. Uh, so while I'm running, let me pat myself off, I guess. Okay, use uh, your action. <laughs> you, ex you do extinguish the flames. It does not require a check. Uh, I'm going to reach in my bag and find a, uh, the, uh, rock part of my grandfather's stone form and pull it out. Grandfather, we need some uh, help, advice, whatever you can offer. Uh, we're in kind of deep here. Yeah, give it a shake. Wake up! I do apologize. I'm trying to fix your camera. It's been going well since Matt got in here. Um, you pull out the... It's normal. I don't know why it's doing that. Why it's going crazy. Your silence was concerning me. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, do I not have it? Is is he dead? Did he die of a heart attack? Like I don't know. Oh God. Um, uh, I'm gonna leave it on you, James. I need you to roll a percentile dice for me. Ooh, man, I just gave Brittany mine. You can come back and get him if you need one. Why dice hoarding is an important part of Dungeons and Dragons. Crucial, some may say. That is a uh, 66. 66? Uh, you see the eye start to blink. Oi. Oi. What are you doing? Where am I? What do you uh, need? I need help or advice or something. I mean, look around. We're, uh, we're in the shit. <laughs> and I'll kind of like hold him up and spin him around a little bit. By the ancestors, boy, what have you got yourself into? Um. Hold on, hold on, don't die. <laughs> Give me a second. Good advice, good advice. Stone cleric, stone cleric. Oh, trust me, I'm trying not to. <laughs> Oh god. The laughter is real, but so are the tears. <laughs> oh. We'll see if this works. Hold on tight. Uh roll another percentile for me. Or he's gonna plane shift just Gorham out. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's a uh eighty two. Eighty two. Uh that actually does affect it i have <laughs> i have google sheets open for this guy <laughs> um, let's fucking go okay grandfather 
You see. Sort of a stone gateway appear in front of you. It says, where do you need to get the gold, boy? Uh, how far can you take me? I don't know yet. Where do you need to get to go? As close to... <clears throat> I'm going to point towards the, uh, the kite in this flesh pod. You point Close to that as possible. Space. Um, and then 82 teleportation magic does take you in the direction in addition to an additional uh you said an 82 yes sir an additional 20 feet I'm going to like you to follow this line that I've got drawn from you to right here. When you step through the gateway, this is where it puts you. Okay, don't move the line. It's, it's standing there. Move the line. Don't, I said don't move the line. That's like so far, Jesus. Move the line. Wait, wait, do I need to be in this square or this square? Yeah, that's fine right there. Okay. It's going to re require your action to do that. That's cool. Okay. Um, anything else from you? Or, um, uh, um, oh, no, I, I think I'm, I think I'm good. Okay. And I, mean, I don't know if I'm good, but I'm here. <laughs> and then your turn. Come back to her for another legendary action. The fuck? When is it my turn? It's different fighting Demi. Tell her to stop. This is another RTM attack. Oh my god. Make her stop. For a 23 to hit RTM. That's a definite hit. Oh, what the heck? She disappeared on my screen. She it might be blocking your line of sight. You may just need to wiggle your character. Wiggle, um, wiggle, wiggle. You take, you take 12 points of piercing damage. And... I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw. Okay. <clears throat> uh, that's an eight and a natural twenty since I have advantage for uh those with haste. Okay. Uh, uh for a total of total twenty three. Just succeeds. You'll take seven points of fire damage. Ouch. Okay. Uh, that is going to bring us to Kashik. Your turn. What would you like to do? So is it an object interaction for me to reach in and pull the crystals out for Milo as well? Yeah, just object interaction to reach in and hand them out. And so it's free action. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. And then I'm going to burn for a little bit longer because instead of putting out the fire, I want to use my action to roll for divine intervention okay before you roll mm -hmm. you gotta state what you're asking for but you will take three, uh, three points of fire damage i don't know what i'm asking what am i asking for help you. <laughs> just fucking help do i have to be specific well like who am i who am i asking i don't have a deity i'm asking myself i'm just looking deep down in my soul 
You're asking the divinity that flows through your own veins. Yeah. Oh, man. Can I believe it? <laughs> the power <laughs> of self This has to be something specific, right? Like, granddad teleport me over there type specific, not everybody gets out alive type specific? Correct. It has to be more specific okay. than everybody gets out alive. Right. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Fuck, I didn't think this through. <laughs> I wasn't story. sure in which way the intervention would happen, if it happens even. I'm, there's a very big chance that it won't. Okay. Hmm. If you want to go ahead and roll to see if it happens or not, that way you don't sit here thinking on it for too long. All right, all right. Smart, 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 smart. It's up to you. Okay, I don't even I don't even know what it needs to be. Don't tell me. I don't want to know till after I roll what it needs to be. Okay. okay. Give me just a second. Okay. Are you spilling any the... of your blood to enhance the chance? I don't have enough. Well, I've got blood to spill, but I don't want to risk it. Okay. I don't have much blood to spill. <laughs> All right. My blood's burning away with this fire. So I need you to tell me if this makes it. Okay. Gentle, 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 gentle. What is it? A 300. <laughs> That's, a three. That's a three, Brittany. I know. I know. That was a joke. That's a that success. What's my cleric That's level? a success. Oh, oh shit. Shit. What's my cleric level? Ten. Is it just my level? Yes. Yeah, you have it to was, roll yeah. below your level. You have to roll a 10 or below, and you rolled a 3. What are you asking? I don't know! I'm asking for my camera to get set back the exact same way it was. <laughs> uh, oh, you can see the cats even better now. Both of them are down there. Um, fuck. What am I asking? <laughs> oh, no. This is so stressful now. You oh, no. Gotta, you gotta say something now. Because now you succeeded. Thanks for the Christmas dice, baby. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh no. That's too much pressure. <laughs> Let me roll again. Let me roll a three hundred. <laughs> no. I didn't want this. Not again. You take that three. <laughs> what? Um. <laughs> okay. Um. Like, what even can I do? I'm at Milo's mercy right now. Fuck. Um. He could maybe wish for something close to the objective at hand? Yeah, but, like, I don't know how to be, not, like, specific about this. Fuck. Um. I'm, uh, ooh, uh, um, I'm gonna fuck this up. I know I am. Can I get input or is input metagaming? Get some input. Give me some input! You could, you could try to release the quarta at one go. Yeah. Can the quarta fly? What if they fall? What if they fall and die? I'm right there. Okay. You, you crack the that wind egg like you're it. making an omelet. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna scramble like an egg before I get cracked like an omelet. <laughs> no, crack like an egg before I get scrambled like an omelet. There Whatever. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna. Okay, let's get the cord out of there. Then, come on, Kashuk, let's get that cord out of there. With full health. With full health. <laughs> For me and, and the cord. All and oh, I can just get my spell slots back. <laughs> like, how compound can this sentence be? <laughs> like I feel like I would Does like it... you. Are, is the decision to get the court out? Is yeah, that your divine system. intervention? I would like you to tell me. Can I additionally take the fire off? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go ahead. I would like you to tell me what you ask and how this looks like for you. This is the first time you've done it. I'd like to know what yeah. it looks like. Um. Oh, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I don't really have to ask. I'd say it'd be more of me, like, hyping myself up. Like, like Kashik, Kashik won't do this. But, like, just in my brain. But, um, Kashik's just gonna start emanating light. 
there just is like like a just light. She's glowing. She's a glowing ass bitch. She's gonna start glowing. But gently, gently glowing. You know how like if you put a you kind of already gently hand. glowing because you're on fire, but... Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Nobody knows that it's happening because I'm already on fire, but you know how once you put a flashlight behind your hand and it starts glowing like red? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's going to start happening with Kashik. Okay. And she's just going to... She's just going to... Close your eyes and she's just going to say, I've got to get that quarter out of there. One shot, let's go. She's also going to say that out loud to Milo. As she hands him the crystal. Let's <laughs> go. Kaushik is, Milo, you see, or you hear, rather, Kaushik do this. You see a hand appear from out behind your ear. A hand fire wreathing the arm, burning away Kaushik's clothes. Her okay. hand and skin glowing somewhat of a radiant gold from within, as if a light is being shown through her veins and arms. And not a black energy with the as Kashik's magic has typically taken hold but instead a radiant white blast from Kashik's hand shoots and collides with this object just right past your ear and as it does layers begin to peel off and sloughing to the ground RTM right in front of you. You see this thing falling apart in front of you. It's you're just looking at it as if it's just decaying. Purple lightning still striking the top of it. And as it does, and it, each layer falls off huge pieces of chitin of animals unseen. Eventually, the vegetation gets thicker here. The vines grow tight, and in the middle of it, you see a dark green leafy just humanoid size shape cocoon there still floating not falling just suspended in air and that's your turn Kashi being your turn there it's gonna bring us to Artyom but before we get to Artyom I'm so sick of this bitch. Um, <clears throat> I was gonna take one of my six out of turn words uh, when she handed me the crystal. Go for it. Uh, it will be thinking at the presence that's been yelling at me. Where? The lightning. Into the lightning. see as she says that another purple lightning bolt streaks down and hit down on top of this humanoid figure uh and that moment in your head is short-lived as a hail of insects is thrown at you where oh shit uh that is a dirty 20 to hit um, that, I will shield that is a it. Nineteen to hit. That shield. Shield up. Insects collide. No effect. Uh, that's gonna end her legendary action. RTM. It's your turn. Okay, so is this thing like cracked open? Like the cocoon's just sort of suspended with nothing else around it, and the lightning bolts are still coming for it? Correct. Still, still colliding with it. Okay, well, I'm going to try and grab that thing and move it if I can. Okay. To grab it. Take six points of psychic damage, have that have down to three. Right. As you do, the ground below begins to tremble with movement once more. All right. Does it does it budge at all? You grab it, you pull it to you, it seems to just be suspended there. You have it in your arms and moving. Okay. Uh, was it an action to pick it up? I'd say it's an uh, action to pick someone up to fly, yeah. 
Okay. Um. I don't know what to do with this thing, so <laughs> I'll 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 try to say to whatever's going on. I have no idea of anyone else's plan, but as far as I know, we got the package and we need to start getting out of here. So, so you pick it up and pull it closer to your chest, RTM. Some of the leaves begin to fall off in, from the top half of this thing. And you see they are unconscious. The face of an emaciated and broken man. A broken orc. Alright. Um, does, does it look like he's... Like he's in a situation to where he, he can't go anymore due to like exhaustion or is it like he's been made unconscious from like damage or you can imagine just from grabbing this thing the couple of times that you have that he has been sustaining this for god knows how long right so uh yep i don't know what to do with this guy so we're going to grab him um are going to uh, get to well shit you said the whole everything underneath me is arriving with insects right it is uh yeah okay so there's like a sea of lava essentially underneath me uh yeah I'm gonna grab this guy and I'm going to start yeeting can I move at full speed while carrying this cocoon uh, he's a medium creature you're a large right mm-hmm that's movement at full okay. speed. So, do what? I said that's movement at full speed. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will move down to the ground. Well, no, I will move to within 60 feet of the ground. So I'm about 220 up right here. So I will move... Um, I'll just move 100 feet down. I'm I have to ask here because you can make slam attacks which are bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm trying to think of like you picking something up. Because Imagine you, it be like sustaining like, it in a vortex or something. Right. You being immune to grapple makes me think that you would not be able to grapple things. Hmm. Not necessarily. Hakan can't be grappled, but he can grapple things. Very quick Googling yeah. shows it being like using the force of wind to lift or move something allows them to carry things, but they're immune to grapple because they can just let it pass through the cyclone or whatever. But that's just first couple results on a Google search, hardly like deep research. I can't grab a tornado, but a tornado can grab me. <laughs> yeah, just being immune to the grapple condition doesn't mean you can't grapple others. <laughs> Right. I know nothing about hurricanes and tornadoes, though. They suck. That's what I know. That's it. That's all I got. I'm going to say you're able to sustain him. It is a tedious process to do so, to keep a physical form there and suspended, but you're able to do it. Um... I'm gonna so would I be up. moving at like half speed or? Yeah, I'll say half speed moving that just because you're trying to sustain him there in a safe position and not dropping him. Moving at full speed, uh, there may be some checks involved in trying to get him somewhere. Okay. I'm just just offhand rolling. Okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, 
that's uh, my movement, which would it would just take me at uh, 90 feet movement. So that would be my movement, and then my hasted action would be to move another 80 feet in this direction. So I'll move. Uh, You know, we're not, we're not going to worry about putting him on the board unless something happens. Uh, to right there. Okay. And then, <laughs> uh, just in case I don't want this thing to get snatched out of my hand or grabbed by other things, so we're going to take uh the dodge action. Okay. And that's my turn. Zor. What'd you use your other action for? Oh, did you did they use an action to pick it up? To to pick him up, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then I will move to there, and that will be my turn. Okay. All right. Uh, ending RTM's turn, Milo. I and I will call out. I've got this cocoon. He's really hurt. He needs help. And I'm kind of seem to be making my way towards the last known direction of car since she might know what best to do in this situation. Okay. Is there even still any lightning? Yes, there is. It is what, what's, still, what's going on with all that? The lightning has grown wild since this thing has been moved, but it is still striking in this sort of central place right here in the middle of this realm. Is it just going, like, down to the ground now, or...? It seems to be hitting sort of wildly now around the rocks and the ground below. Still? Still. Will it be a check to throw it at the point of the lightning's origin, or...? Uh, yes, it'll, it'll be an attack roll. Ranged attack. But uh, non-living things don't get deck saving throws, right? Uh, yeah. I hope I'm not making a mistake. Uh, and I will take the crystal from Kashik, place it in a groove on top of my gauntlet, and I will cast Catapult to launch the crystal at the point of origin of the lightning. Ooh. Off into the ether. As you see it launched, lightning hits this crystal, a point in the sky. You're not sure how far as distances are strange here. Especially further up, as you see into the ether, lightning strikes this crystal. It seems to stop at that point and then begin glowing brighter and brighter. Um, and that's it at this point. Um, what else you got for your turn there, Milo? I just realized I was talking while muted. Uh, seeing Artyom below while uh, trying to escape with the Corta. Mm -hmm. uh, Milo will also begin heading back in that direction, but staying up high. Um, trying to orient to actually move my character. It's hard this high up. You're not wrong. Wait, no, not that. 20, 25, 30. And then uh, we'll shout at uh, the horrific Eldritch creature below him. Just action, you bitch!
very well. Death it is. Is that it for your turn? Uh, drinking a potion's a bonus action, right? It is. Flicking a couple of levers on his armor, he's gonna activate an auto injector to get a potion into him real quick. Yeah. Good call. Good call. Oh fuck, bro. I'll be seven. <laughs> We're in danger. <laughs> <laughs> what in the goddamn? <laughs> Don't know. Um. Okay. Is that it for your turn, there, Milo? No, that is object interaction, action, movement, and bonus action. I have literally nothing left. Okay. Uh. It's gonna bring us to her turn. I grabbed the one that wasn't far enough for us to move. There we go. You see her float up to you. The writhing mass of insects just lifting her up further and further as they crawl from the ground and just seem to like uh, World War Z style just push her further up into the air. She gets right on you and she seems to be plucking at something like a line of something that runs from you down to RTM. Um, and she's going to make both of her attacks at you. Uh, Um, the will hit. Um, I having a hard time doing math. I believe the total is thirty two. Um, I just need to make sure that this, she does not crit on a nineteen. Huh? <laughs> oh no! Doesn't seem like it. All right. Uh, Great success. Uh, Milo, you take 24 points of slashing damage. One. Just out of curiosity, is this piercing and slashing we've been taking, uh, Magical or non-magical? It is magical. Okay. I think you have, have to ask, though. That's fair. <laughs> God hits you with regular ass slashing. Um, hey, I, I gotta reach, right? Uh, a constitution save from both you and Artyom. Oh, no. Um, rolling like fire tonight. 18 plus 2 is a dirty 20. I don't know if that'll succeed or not. Okay. 17. They're both failures. Oof. Um, you both take 
You both take 27 points of poison damage. I am unconscious. <gasps> no. No, you're not. <laughs> oh, wait, it's no. poison, not acid. Never mind. No, sir. <laughs> what the fuck? As you I'm watch her... Milo, as she floats up to you, just plucks on that one string for a moment, and you see her mouth open. And as you do the black void within, you see flesh-like gums, but protruding from them two black-like tarantula fangs that lunge and just pierce into you through your armor, leaving gaping holes. And as they do, you and Kashik both immediately plummet 60 feet. You're currently 250 feet in the air, which will make it to 200, 190 feet. We could be dead. Um, RTM, are you still in your form? Yep. Uh, it's immune to poison. You're immune to poison. <laughs> yep. Perfect. Um, wonderful. My hand can, however, nice. no longer take actions or move actions for my next turn. Right. Or move or take actions. Oh. Cause haste just got taken off <gasps> of me. Oh. Oh no. That's true. Oh fuck. Hey, <laughs> yeah, that's big oh fuck. <laughs> oh fuck, gotcha. to make a ranged attack at you, RTM. All right. We're in 18 total. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. You take 12 points of piercing damage. All right. Uh, just to make sure, you just can't take actions on your turn. You are not stunned, correct? Uh, it says, when the spell ends, the target can't move or take actions until after its next turn, as a wave of lethargy sweeps over it. So it's not, it doesn't actually have a condition. It's just a hard line. I can't move or take actions. Okay. All right. Um, so 12 points of piercing, and then two. Um, I have to reroll. But you can't do that more than once a turn. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. All right. Uh, 27. That will succeed. Uh, 26, excuse me. <clears throat> You'll take three, have down to one point of psychic damage. Okay. As these, she reaches her hand down and says, Bring him back to me. And you see these moths fly from her hand with the same ultraviolet blue that adorns her own wings. They come down and flutter within your face and eyes, and for a moment you lull there, but you shake your head and pull yourself through. Um, it's going to end her turn. Melgrim, what would you like to do? Just keep lighting this bitch on fire. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna, with this fire, I'm just going to try to light it on fire and see if we can't try to attempt to knock it over. Okay. 
go ahead and roll roll damage. This one has already been struck by lightning, so fire is imminent. Uh, Just want my PC needed more items on this map. <laughs> yeah. All right, total of 22 slashing damage. Okay. Collapses. Uh, how I'm much shout out to the ether? Oh, uh, fire damage, yeah, right. Yeah, how much fire damage? I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll make the uh, minimum, but 10, yeah, and then 18 total. Okay, and what are you shouting? Shouting out this bitch, come over here, bitch, or I'll let your whole fucking homeland on fire. Give me a persuasion or in intimidation, your choice. Okay, I'm back. Look at that. Intimidation. Okay. To a total of 18. 18. Okay. Does that end your turn there, Melbourne? Yeah. Two big swings knocking this pyre over. Fire is starting to catch, and it is you hear the just various screams from all over now, sort of echoing out of these hives that are around you. It's getting loud. It's getting real loud right here. You can still hear for now. Uh ending Melgram's turn. Gandolin. What would you like to do? Oh boy. Um <laughs> Oh fuck, bro. <laughs> oh man. So I can charge him. Let's see. I'm all the way back here. <laughs> oh god, I have I mean keep doing all I can do, just keep moving forward. Actually, before you move. She's gonna take a legendary action. Twenty. Yeah, fuck. She looks down at you, RTM, and looks down at Milo and Kashik falling. She calls out to you. And watch all friends die. She's going to teleport to anywhere within her realm. Oh hell. She's gonna be right in between all of you. About right there. Okay, and that's her legendary action. Um Oh fuck. Alright, Gandalin. Now it's your turn. Oh, oh, okay. Um <laughs> one moment. Existential crisis. I am going to spin around. Okay. <laughs> Teleported to behind me. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Um. Well, fuck. You specifically. Take a moment to <sighs> bonus action to Kensei shot, and I'm gonna fire a couple arrows at this bitch. Not at disadvantage. 
fuck you, you're not 500 feet away anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's a 21. Twenty-one hits. Holy shit. Okay. Sick. Nine points of magical piercing. Okay. And second arrow. A natural twenty. <laughs> Very nice. Oh god. <laughs> it rolled damage worth of shit. If it wasn't against a god, that'd probably be feel a lot better. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, uh, 5, 10, 15 points of magical piercing. Okay. Um, uh, and, I mean, they're over there, and, I mean, I'm sure that didn't really get her attention all that great, but, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe. So, instead of moving towards my friends who have the Corta, I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35... 40, 45. Okay. Facing her. Uh, and in response to her the last time, once again in Delkir, if you have failed all those other times, then you will continue to do so. Nation founded by the conqueror will not be conquered. Amen. Stop me. End your turn there, Ganduin. Yep, that's it. It's going to take legendary action. Uh, DM, real quick, can you move me back to the board? I had to try to restart Tail Spire so I could see the bad guy. Yeah, no problem. Can you move me off of the board? I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can just move me on the board, too. You can just transport me where I need to be. Yeah, yeah, you should be able to, be able to click on the Crowley's photo on the left, and it'll take you to where you are. All right, cool, thanks. Um, there's two people been trying to get her attention. Um, so she's gonna roll for it. Um, I don't have a D2, so I'm just gonna roll a D20. Uh, Melgram one through 10, Ganowin uh, 11 through 20. Sick. We're 16. Always high, baby. Is a dirty 30 to hit. <laughs> yeah, it'll hit. Oh, just dirty. The dirty 40. <laughs> the dirty 40. The dirty 40. <laughs> Any 40 you get hit by is pretty fucking dirty. <laughs> it's pretty dirty, yeah. That's 11 piercing damage. Ow. Owie, owie. And I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Oh, fuck yeah, bro. Glad I'm really glad I've held on to this fucking inspiration this whole time. All right. And I don't uh, even then that won't be good enough. Okay. Uh, that's a dirty 30 in return. You bitch. <laughs> As these ultraviolet blue moths released from her arm towards you, I just rolled... 2d100 at you um so let's go oh. let's not attempt to kill you this this early um yeah please <laughs> just uh, just outright death uh you'll take four points of psychic damage i'm sorry Ow. you succeeded so i have down to two my damage rolls have been asked here fantastic um, <laughs> all right Ow. Uh, that is her legendary action in any game wins turn that's going to bring us around to crowley crowley this being is just teleported in front of you a tower of insects below her what would you like to do you are currently gonna... flying via your loop <clears throat> by yes. the way. what's uh what's the ground look like how are these skies and how are these grounds uh, no the crease. ground behind you is somewhat on fire as Go melgrum is slicing away and car is lightning striking these hot large hives to try and get her attention it looks like at least some of it has worked especially gorham calling out to her um you see car sort of suspended in the air 
uh, via spider webs, and you also see familiar worms crawling towards where Car is restrained. Um, uh, the the skies look like purple lightning hell, and purple lightning hell. yeah, that's what you're looking at. Okay. Let me find Gandolin real quick. <laughs> I am diagonal to you a little bit. Oh, that's that's a little bit of a distance. <laughs> Correct. He's right here. Okay. And behind me is behind car. you is car and in a very desperate situation. Obviously, I can't see that. No, I'm kidding. Um. How the situation with Car was? Was it butterflies or suspended by spider webs? She is suspended uh, by si spider webs, and you see crawling towards her, on all sides, those familiar, fleshy, translucent centipede creatures that had assaulted her tribe. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'd like to try and move over there and help her get unrestrained. I guess give her the aid action. Do you want to give her the aid action, or do you want to try to get her out of there this turn? I guess I'll try and help her get out of there uh, this turn. Um, pull out my dagger and try. Yeah, I'll try. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and roll an attack for me. And so we shall. Good sir. Oh. It looked great, then it looked good. We'll see what D&D D &D Beyond says. <laughs> eh, it's a 13. Uh, 13 will hit. Uh-huh. Very good. Go and, uh... Damage. Go ahead and what? Roll damage. Damage? Roll. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, this this web doesn't have a soul, does it? <laughs> You'll find out. <laughs> oh. Not that it should matter. Oh. Seven. Seven points of damage. Uh, Car, right. you're still restrained. Uh, you have cut down a good portion of this web. Uh, but you are still stuck there. Car, if you, as you drag the dagger down on this just suspended sack that's keeping her on, uh, like above the air on these hives, you bring it down. Her arms are still stuck to the back of this cocoon that you've opened up, and you see her just struggling against it, but she still is restrained. I will go ahead and uh, send a spirit her way for aid and give her inspiration. <laughs> okay. Unless I've done it already. I don't know. I have a, memory's kind of fading being you, here, you know? Do you still have your inspiration car? I do. Okay, so she's, she's currently... Well, she gets nothing then. Good day. Okay. Alright. I don't want to be a zombie. I don't. It's a good day. <laughs> Ending I'll, your turn. Yeah, Go ahead. I'll hold there. I was just going to say I'll hold there. Sure. You sure? You know, I'll fly up a little bit. Hit and run. I actually just did not check how much distance I, I had. I just knew I was like really close. Yeah, you you're, you got a movement speed of sixty. You're good. Okay, yeah. um, so I just get a little, little bit of height. Okay. Um, he's gonna use the legendary action now and point at Gor uh, Melgram. For a uh, twenty-nine hit, Melgram. Box, are these spells she's hurling, or are these just things? These are insects okay, and cool. bugs. Cause she's a nasty bitch. Yeah. You take seventeen points of piercing damage. Ow. Melgram. Now I need you to make a strength saving throw.
a 26. 26 does succeed as she opens up her arm and you see these just covered in slime worms eject from her forearm and just in your direction as these webs start to drape down on you from them you're able to tear yourself free uh with no further effect um ending that that is going to bring us to car card is your turn these things on the ground are very very close to you you are currently restrained which will mean You'll fail any sort of dexterity check. You're not in a great position right now. What? What would you like to do? Uh, can I try to get away? You can. <laughs> you can choose okay. the best way that works for you. Crowley has cut this web already a little bit. Um, okay. So if you have any sort of slashing implement on you, um, you can try okay. that or you can try acrobatics or you could try uh athletics let's let's try let's see um i think for a slashing what do i have for slashing do you have i have a spear that seems unwieldy um yeah i really just have a spear and a dagger so let's try athletics okay well you have it you have a dagger so if you would like to make an attack with that dagger however you are the one restrained so that would be a disadvantage so you can i, I want you to choose the option that you want to you, you want to do most right now you still have other okay. options like spells and stuff at your disp at your uh disposal as well can i cast a spell if it has a somatic element to it yes oh i can mm -hmm. mm, well in that case in that case um i would like to uh, make sure real quick that i'm not missing something but i don't i don't think it affects somatic components being restrained i'm pretty sure your movement is just cut to zero and you get no benefit from the spid everything yeah there is no effect uh, against your somatic components for being restrained okay great 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 um okay well that okay um crowd of muffin crowd of muffin um that spells um Okay, so um, I want to cast freedom of movement on myself. You to instantly do what? I'm sorry. You instantly escape, no longer <laughs> being able to be restrained. Okay, and that uses five feet of my movement. Is that correct? Uh, no, that just uses your action to cast the spell. Oh, okay, awesome. Um, and then. Wild shape is an action, right? Yes, for you it's an action. Okay, so in that case, I'm just gonna boogie to try to get toward where RTM and the Corta are. So I'm gonna movement and then bonus action aggressive, so 60 feet toward them. Okay. I really hate being restrained. I do feel like you get restrained the most. I did, right? I feel like it's a thing. I'm a restraint magnet. You know what that means. What's Just your, about directly under this lady. What's your AC car? <laughs> um, oh, my AC is, oh, where am I? It is 14. I'm finna die on a... <laughs> As you go to run away, two of these centipedes latch onto your legs. Oh, and are traveling oh. with you now. Okay, I was gonna say because does the, the restraint or the freedom thing keep me going for a little bit? Uh, let me read. It lasts for an hour, uh, it oh. says. Yeah. Freedom. So I mean, they can't stop you, but that doesn't necessarily mean that doesn't they mean they can't, they can't go with. On. Yeah. 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 I don't know. 
Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. That makes depends sense. on the word. Yeah, I'm going to read Freedom of Movement real quick. Uh, you're unaffected by difficult terrain and spells and matter effects that would reduce your speed or become paralyzed or restrained. You can also spend five feet of mo movement to automatically escape from non magical restraints. Uh, as manacles or creatures finally being underwater proposes, imposes no penalties. So they can still latch on to you, but you are not slowed down by them in any way. Your movement is not impeded by them, but they are crawling. As as you run away, you see these things grapple onto your boot as they just latch out, and you see them crawling up your leg closer to your head. So they are grappled onto her. They're attached. Yeah, it's not really a grapple. They're not affecting her. It's I'm just attack. checking, because phrasing, you know, careful oh. there. Because if they were grappling her, she couldn't move. Right. They're hugging me. Hugging. One is hugging lovingly each boot. Or non-boot, because I'm not wearing shoes. But you know. I ain't wearing shoes. I'm going to wear dirty feet. This no is a shoes. horrible place got, not to be got, wearing shoes. I got work feet. You might want to put on some boots. <laughs> this is a bad nice. place to not be wearing Probably shoes. You right. get some, like, sandals. Car, does that end your turn? Um, yes, I, I think I've done everything I can do at this point. Except, um, I will kind of change. I continue to sing, but now in, um, Doc here just to be singing, um, something a little bit more loving, like You Are My Sunshine. Okay. She's hit Melgram. She has hit Anoin. Uh, uh, high Crowley, low core. For a seven. Car, she releases her hand towards you. Uh, it's a 17 to hit. That hits. Seventeen points of piercing damage. And I need you to make a strength saving throw for me. Of course. Okay. I'm good. <sighs> Can I oh that was bad. Can I use my inspiration? My inspi inspiration. Before you do, what did you roll? A three. What's your bonus? Uh, my bonus is a one in strength. You will be unable to succeed, so save your inspiration dice. Okay. All right. Damn, damn it. Um. Oh. Okay. Well, that's good. Take twenty-two points of thunder damage. And I'm down. Like down, down. You're knocked fifteen feet to the side of Alara's choosing. Gandalin Crowley, you see Carr getting knocked down from these thunderous cicadas as she reaches her hand down and they hit her and she just gets tossed to the side limply. As she does, you see these worms begin crawling at her. Her downed form. Alright. Um, that's it for her. Uh, that's going to bring us to Gorum. Your turn. I don't know what to do. Same. Save me. <laughs> uh, let me, no. Let me see. Save the quarter. Ba -da -ba -ba. Get Grandpa's help again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, that's all I got at this point. I literally have to put you like five turns away from anybody. <laughs> you, you tried to help. I'm going to shake the rock. Grandpa, you got anything else? Get, nah, it's not getting any better out here. Any other tricks in your book? Any help at all? 
Where do you need to go now, my boy? It seems like Grandpa can get you 500 feet on a good day. <laughs> Hell yeah, Grandpa. Says, I can't do that much more, though. This map is so big. It's a big bitch. <laughs> I go and try to find somebody to measure, and then I go to go back to myself. I don't know where I'm at. I'll, I'll put but, the flashlight, but it's still not much help. about these nerds you got a decision to make oh. and then if i got to them what would i do Jones, these these floating platforms do they do they fucking do they move or are they just kind of like they're chilling uh they move slightly but no one's jumped on one yet Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. What's the I hear you mock me in the other room now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh God! Never that. Alright, Father, you see it? this platform? Uh, Alright, it's, it's the one kind of. Where's the compass? This one right in front of our team. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get me an angle coming out of the uh, gate to try to, to land on it to under. Uh, where my friends are falling. Um, it's time. All right. Step on through. You step through the gate. He's going to put you on that platform. When you land on it, Gorham. I need you to roll me a D4. If this fight wasn't go? complicated, it would not be this fight. <laughs> uh, Should I go with the clear one or the blue one? Blue is closer to purple, so blue. <laughs> clear. Two blues and a clear? I like Brittany more than I like you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a four. That's a four? Yes, sir. This platform drifts under you as you land on it. Oh, no. C cool. That's it, right? That's all? It's just it moves a little bit? Whoa. In a random direction. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is four happen to be directly underneath our people who are falling currently? Just funk. Well, that's not nearly as far. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Excuse me. As I uh, go to copy this platform. <laughs> And you move that low to the center of gravity. 20, <laughs> about 20 feet straight forward. Oh, shit. Oof. I feel like I'm responsible for this. I'm so sorry. I think I moved you a little bit more than 20 feet. There's a lot more than 20 feet, I believe. Yeah, that's nearly double the distance. 
Oh, wait, I gotta go into build mode. You may fall here. Goodbye. I wish you were unmuted when you just did that, James. What'd he do? He went. <laughs> you stayed there. That's wild. <laughs> ancestors <laughs> all right and you are right there now oh boy okay that is your action you're muted love thank you uh how <laughs> How far, I guess I could try to measure it. How far from me are they? Are, are they from you right now? Like, like in terms of squares. Uh, if they went cursed splat, well, if they went past me, how far away would they be? Five, ten feet? How oh, directly across like? from you? Yeah. Um, I don't think I can measure that far. Uh, yeah, because it measures down. It won't measure to theirs. Um, but you know what I can do? I can measure your... You don't have a base. But I can measure from right here. Yeah, someone's got the idea. 13 feet from where you are right now. So would that be in a 15 square or a 10 square? Uh, well, someone's not in a square right now. And you're technically not in a square either. I'll say if you move up on that rock a little bit dangerously close to the edge, you'll be within 10 feet. He's gonna fucking hammer them. I'm gonna give him the old acne hook. I don't know, dude. I don't know what to do here. That's fair. I'm not understandable. <laughs> acne hook. Is that in your turn, Gorham? It, it's a. You land on it, and I just flip you like a goddamn. Uh, like an omelet? Like an omelet onto the platform. <laughs> it it kind of looks like some eggs. You'd be alright. Yeah, that. Uh. that uh, I guess. All right. I guess. Uh, you're, you're gonna catch them. You're gonna uh, flip them, and then the the platform's gonna like move underneath you, and you're just gonna <laughs> eat them back off into nothingness. You're on the back of an unconscious Milo riding. I am, yeah. Um. So what I'm gonna do? It's my turn, right? That's why you said my name. It is your turn. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to. Um, with a combination of Circle of Mortality and a second level Cure Wounds. Is it Cure Wounds? Yeah. I am going to give my low back 21 points of HP. Wake the fuck up, Samurai. We've got a city to burn, or whatever the fuck he says. <laughs> What's it say? Samurai, Samurai. 21. Um, and... How, how, it's a, how, what, would it, would it be an action for me to reach into the bag of holding and pull out the potion that I have remaining to drink, or? No, it's a bonus action to, to down a potion to yourself. It? Okay, sick. I would mm -hmm. like to down my potion as my bonus action. Okay, go and remove it from I've the already used my, perfect. I've already used my greater one, so I'm going to use my, my regular one. Okay. Um, and what does that do? Is it 2d4 plus 2? Is that what it says? Okay, so I will delete that from my inventory, and I will roll 2d4 plus 2 real quick. Okay. D4, 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 d4. Okay. Uh, and so that will give me 6 points of healing. Yeehaw. Every little bit counts. <laughs> okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. And that is going to be my entire turn. Okay. Just going to take a legendary action. And... I really wish you wouldn't. No more. Uncle. Uncle. <laughs> Auntie. Auntie. <laughs> Yo, those arrows are really bad, though, right? Some really bad arrows. <laughs> I'll just, I'll start going for her from trying to shake her mental up a little bit she is a being of chaos damn it me too Gandalin. car 
Crowley. Belgram. She attacked Melgram. Melgram. For a 26 to hit Melgram. Aye, that just hits. <laughs> um. Take 15 points of piercing damage. You're lucky. I need you to make another strength saving throw for me. Artem, you're, uh, wait, no. I effectively have no turn. Oof. You can use a bonus action. Uh, it's an action. Any any and all actions are a no go. Alrighty then. Our team, I need you to make me uh, a strength saving throw as well. All right. Twenty six. Okay. Nineteen. And I used that last inspiration that I got. Thank you. Uh, very well. Melgrim, you succeed. And you take seven points of thunder damage and you're not moved from anywhere. RTM, you take 15 points of thunder damage, unless you are immune. I am resistant. That's good. And you are moved. 15 feet. If I could grab you. <laughs> no, horizontal path. Right there. Um. Yep. That's her turn. Uh. Or that's her, uh, action. That is gonna bring us over to, um. To RTM. Your senses come back to you, RTM, at the end of this round. Um, still holding the car, the Corta there. Um, that will end your turn. Brings us to Milo. Uh, Milo, is it a bonus action or action to activate your boots? Neither. It Neither. just gives me a fly speed. Okay, perfect. All right, it's your turn, Milo. Sorry, I was, I was reading to make sure I didn't just lie to you about the boots because you made me second guess myself, <laughs> so I was rereading that intro real quick. <laughs> uh, Their boots are flying, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm reading it right now. I'm good. It's It just gives you a fly speed. Yeah, but the only um, Oh, also... Limited amounts of time. Right. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, you just have a flying speed. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, kind of whipping around and riding myself where I was at, uh, tossing a glance over to the crystal behind us or above us, whatever. It is suspended um, in air, and you see it begin to spin faster and faster and glow brighter and brighter at this point. It is, it is nearly like a glowing Sharn Tower in the middle of the night here in the sky. Okay. And with the uh, adjustment of a few settings and dumping his final spell slot, I'm going to cast Haste on myself okay. and begin dashing towards a way out. Where do you begin dashing towards? Our way out. Towards where you came in from? Where Nelky yes. was? Yep. Okay. Go ahead and I, move yourself. 
I don't have control of my character right now. I don't know why you wouldn't. It's the same character it's been. Uh, it's not showing as... Try again. I'll, uh, I'll restart. Okay. Tails back. What's your movement speed with haste? Uh, 60. Um, it costs one action to cost it, so I will move 120 feet. I hit the wrong button. Sorry. It's fine. Uh, so you're moving 60 this turn? One, two. Three. No, 120 this turn. Four, five. <laughs> Just let me smack the middle of this guy. Cost your... Oh, yeah, and you're going to use your hasted action to cast. Six, seven. Ella, please come back for me. Five, six, seven, eight, eight. <laughs> I think it's moving more than one sometimes. It is. It's skipping. I think I moved you a little bit more than 120. I'm not going to lie to you. But uh, that's where we're going to put it. Because can, I didn't. Re yeah, I was doing the arrow keys and it moved you. It, I didn't realize it was skipping 10 feet sometimes. I think it's when it runs into like where that the, the where hives. the base is down at the bottom. Yeah, is when it's hitting stuff. Yeah. That makes like sense. Jump it, which is annoying. All right, does that end your turn there, Milo? Uh, it it does. Okay. It is all the actions. Brings us to her turn. She's had so many turns. She, <laughs> she really has. She's had too many turns, if you ask me. Greedy. Too many turns, too many turns. One, two, three is Crowley. Legendary actions do beat legendary in. Just because she's a god, I mean, come on. Gosh. <laughs> Gosh. 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 Oh. Do it. Crawley, she teleports and moves directly towards you. Yeah. How do you do? Um, Howdy. You see this arm clicking on the side, this praying mantis type arm slash down at you as it does. Insects follow along. For a 26 to hit. Yeah. One, three, four. Four, two. Three, six. Okay. Um. Three, two, six. In the initial attack you take 22 points of slashing damage and then as insects rise behind her arm forcing this blade like arm deeper into your armor you take an additional Uh, 29 points of slashing damage. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me. Jesus Christ! Ow! A 17. As this thing cuts across you, Crowley. Deep wound across your armor and your new clothes or new newish clothes, newish looking clothes. Um, this wound on you is going to continue to bleed unless something is done about it. Uh, it is a grievous wound. Okay. One, two, three, four.
for a two. She turns away from you. Points towards car. It's a ranged attack, so she does have disadvantage. Um, it's a 19 to hit your armor class car. Yes, I'm already dead. You're down, not necessarily dead. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay, my thing says that I have to do death saving throws in <clears throat> Correct. Dandy Beyond. Beyond. So, okay. But a 19, yes, it does hit. You automatically fail one of those. <laughs> okay. Got it. And that is going to end her turn. Melgrim. boy and then Gandal when you're on deck can I pop in real quick um I still haven't put out the fire on myself so I need to know what damage that I take for the last round Thank you sorry moment. that's fine yeah it is one point of fire damage sick that was the gods blessing me for being honest indeed it was and it wasn't <laughs> DM fudging either because I rolled in I'm rolling all of this in D&D beyond What you got, Melgrim? Ooh, I don't even know what I can do at this point. Um, yeah. See, in the field of battle, Brand's going down. He's gonna. He's going to sheathe his sword, pull out his, pull out his necklace, and a desperate plea for help. Father. It's, it's been a long while since I've prayed to the ancestors and talked to you at night like I did when I was a boy. Missed you. Missed you so much. Me and my friends were in a situation, I don't know if you can hear me. I don't know what help you can give. Even if it's just a whisper in the winds or advice. I need your help and the help of the ancestors. And uh, I don't know if you want some type of roll with that. If you want to roll with that, I would like to use my birthday coin. Okay. The birthday 20.
he call out? To your father and the ancestors. To the natural world that has fueled you. And hear a old familiar, not even a whisper on the winds, but a thought in the back of your mind, almost as if it was just dropped there. As you're thinking about your father, envisioning his face, the right side of your cheek begins to heat up. A bronze handprint begins to make its way there. You have to heal the old orc. And with that, Melgrim and Eagle comes down seemingly from nowhere and grabs you on the shoulders to move you. You have a flying speed of 60 feet. That's your turn. Gandolin. Oh yeah. Your turn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I'm gonna be five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Uh, question, DM. Mm -hmm. Can I see the uh, centipede worm things that are on car? Uh, yeah, you have line of. Oh, let me zoom in. Sorry. It looks from here like you have line of sight on both. I'm going to make sure real quick. I've got Linus. I didn't know if they were still on her or not. Cause I, I didn't know. I didn't. That, that was kind of my. I probably should have asked that uh, before I moved. I didn't know if they stayed on her when she got blown to the side or not. I'm gonna give them checks. That was to my see. assumption. Um. One of them does. One of them does not. As they are all both, or one of them tagged along and one of them blown the same way car or was so okay. there you go i can i can actually i can still see both of them though okay cool uh i'm gonna take a moment to uh center myself to get can say shot and i'm gonna first shot is going at the centipede on car go ahead and roll that's a 27 27 will hit. Double fuck. It's only seven points of magical piercing on the first shot. You shoot off the tail end of it. The head continues to crawl. Second shot, same worm. Okay. The 26. Hits. Fantastic. Much better. 15 points of magical piercing. The arrow skewers it off of her leg and hitting a hive behind it as it sits there motionless. Okay. And continuing to address Valara. 
Not one, but many. Your numbers are meaningless against my own. Um, that. I uh, give me a persuasion check. Straight roll, Gandalin. Oh, oh boy. All right. <laughs> Five. Uh, unfortunately, not giving you any bonus for her to come after you if, you, if that's what, what your intention was. But one, two, three, four. That's another two. Disadvantage is um 18 to hit car that hits you fail a second death saving throw got it and again one's turn crowley what would you like to do <clears throat> crowley is going to try and move over to car okay but before that, because I'm not sure what the distance is, I need to check two things here. Okay. Oh, I moved him by accident. Yikes. Uh, you're about 60 feet away. And I've got a 60 foot fly speed, right? Fly speed. I'm moving you back to the square you're in. Yeah. But I'm also right next to her. You are. Crowley's just going to sheath his dagger and uh, clap his hands as the spirits start appearing around him and form a ball and a giant T-Rex will appear <laughs> as he polymorphs into a familiar form. <laughs> okay. Familiar to Artyom, not, not him. <laughs> <laughs> so you drop concentration on the fly. Yep. You land right there, beside her, in your new T-Rex form. Yep. I have no idea what my movement speed is still. I imagine, like, that's my bad. But I'm going to try and move my way. Make I'm going to give her a dino-like sneer and make my way over to Car. <laughs> hey, I believe your movement is 30 or 40. I can't really remember. I also didn't know I was going to be breaking this out today. <laughs> Probably a good time to do it. Desperate times seem to like. 50 foot is... movement speed. speed. All right, well then, that's going to be a whole 50 over to car. Okay. And yeah, now I'm going to be standing in front of her, like, you know, trying to like, you know, eyes on me as opposed to like hiding her form with my dino form. Are, are both the worms okay. off of her yet? One, the... one was, one didn't tag along and I killed the one that was on her. Okay. Awesome. There is still one near her feet. Oh, is there one near her feet? Well, yep. being a T-Rex, I guess I can... Find it? Do I get to do that? You've already used your action to cast Polyor. That's good. Then I'm just moving over there then. That's okay. fine. Can you control this? The T-Rex? I'm going to try... <laughs> So it's uh, 24 uh, yeah. on her AOP. Let's see. I'm just going to say that would be about right, correct? Yeah. Um, I just like the smash. Anyway. <laughs> you take 16 points of slashing damage. And I need you to roll a concentration check for me. Uh, 
Damn, I've never rolled a concentration check on uh, D and D Beyond before. <laughs> it's just your constitution yeah, con saving throw. Yeah, we'll just roll. Ooh, no, yeah, no, yeah. It's so slow. It's so dramatic every time it stops at a number. It is a 14. 14 succeeds. Maintain your concentration on your on your Tyrannosaurus form. Anything else for your turn, Crowley? Mm, no, just maintain Sneer as a free action. Maintain Sneer. Okay. Uh, can does someone know off the top of your hand if you benefit from equipment when you're polymorphed? In I don't know in regards to what. Uh, any of a worn equipment, magical items that you're attuned to. I, my assumption would be no, but I'm not certain. Beyond, I, I something in the wording of the spell may indicate. Thanks. There we go. Polymorph. The target's gear melds into the new form. The creature can't activate, use, wield, or otherwise benefit from any of its equipment. Okay. She continues to be a creature of chaos. For Crowley's turn. She points at Milgram. Or a natural one on an attack roll. Good. Um, Keep them coming. Yeah. Be missing. Car. We are around to your turn. What a death saving throw is, is a d20. Mm -hmm. What you are aiming for, you add nothing to it. What you are mm -hmm. aiming for is a 10 or higher. And you could use inspiration on it, right? You cannot use inspiration on a death saving throw. Real quick, Stacy, when was your birthday? July the 5th. Okay, see, Jonesy, your birthday's passed already, man. You gotta. You gotta I, think I, I think I used it. In, guy. I think I used it in the um, one shot. That's a different one than this one, right, Jonesy? Mm -hmm. That's a different one than this one. So I will, I will ask the the group's opinion. So I have always done D and D Beyond, but have a recently acquired physical dice. So what do you guys think? Physical dice or D and D Beyond? Well, this is determining whether or not your character lives. So I vote physical dice. Physical, physical dice. dice. Always. On physical dice. Summon the energy within your body. Nine or lower. Car dies. Die. Okay. <laughs> if I die on this, I'm never using physical dice again. Just so y'all <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> it will be tainted forever. Oh my god, it's a 20, y'all! Oh my god, I'll take a Yeah! It's, it's, a, it's a natural 20? <laughs> Swear to God, swear to God, I'm taking a picture right now. Oh, wait. Swear to God. Oh, my Lord. I swear. <laughs> the dice gods are listening. They listen always. I don't know if you can Hell see. Hell yeah! So, nice. Car, let me explain to you what happens with a natural 20 on a death saving throw. Death saving throws are made at the top of your turn. Okay. So, when you make a death saving throw and you roll a natural 20, you come back with one hit point at the top of your turn. You are still prone, but you are awake. What would you like to do? Okay. <sighs> okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, St 
standing up would take my action, right? Just 15 feet of movement. Oh, okay. So I'm going to stand up. Okay. And if I, um, if I wild shape, will that give me the HP of whatever I wild shape into? It would. You also have polymorph. Oh yeah, where's polymorph? Which one's what's the fastest? I don't know if I'm wrong. Which has the most what okay, that's not gonna that's not a good one. I does not have a lot of hit points at all. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I was I was so convinced I was dead, y'all. Oh, I completely convinced I was dead. I don't even know how to I'll figure out how to maneuver that in um D D Beyond in a minute. <laughs> how to tell them I'm alive. I'm alive. Okay. Um. All right. So I gotta make sure. Let's say you, your best option here, and I'll let the group chime in as well. But polymorphing into something similar to the animal you see in front of you is probably your best option here. That's what I was looking up to see. So, um, if I was able to do that. So, yes, I'm gonna polymorph into a T-Rex. <laughs> Rick squad. All right. Now, I don't think Carr has ever seen a Tyrannosaurus Rex until right now. <laughs> she went, that looks awesome. I'm going to turn into that. So you see that. a creature of the natural world in front of you and choose to shift your shape into that. I see the giant toenail. Oh. Huh, that looks neat. <laughs> she gets something wrong, and she has really long arms, too. So she's like the perfect T-Rex. She's got long arms, big head, everything's perfect. Let's go. <laughs> right. Yeah. I thought that they were just holding their arms close. I didn't realize they were short. No. Um, okay, yes. Yeah. So um, let's see. So I'm standing up. Um, a T-Rex. So I've used my action. I've used 15 feet of movement. Um... Oh, I'm so unprepared. I just literally just thought I was dead. I was not prepared to live. Uh, <laughs> Good problems. <laughs> I know, right? I'm not complaining about that at all. Um, let's see. So I got 35 feet left to go. Who do I see around me? Um, she's right there in front of us. Mm-hmm. Um, Probably I won't win against her. The attacking her is probably not useful. So how far and can you show me where um where the hole is and where the where Melgram and at all? Melgram and the, is the right quarter and all that. They're all together, right? Melgram is back here. Okay. El Melgram is currently by himself on the other side. Oh, of I thought he like I thought yep. he zipped up to the quarter. Okay, where's that the was Gorham. Gorham okay. and the rest of the party are back here. Melgram and oh not Melgram, I'm sorry. Milo and Kashik are floating right here in the air. Can you draw me the board real quick? Yeah. And okay. Gorham All right. It's right here, uh, and the Corta and RTM are right there. Okay, so I'm gonna. You are way the fuck over here there. Okay, yeah, well, 35 feet is 35 feet, I guess. So give me 35 uh, feet. Oh, do I still get aggressive? Do I still get that? quality for my bonus action I'll, I'll say for your bonus action you could have used that 15 feet to stand up so you'll have your full movement oh. speed standing okay up. all right so thank you very much i appreciate it thanks god um so i'll take 50. i'm so excited y'all <laughs> the mosquitoes are cheering for you I know, right the mosquitoes are happy i'm happy no. 35 40. I get 45. Like, trying to navigate, trying to navigate you when when, when your model's so big is a little bit of a, <laughs> little, yeah, a little bit of a challenge. Okay. And okay. then Car's turn. It's gonna bring us to her turn. Fuck. Or to her legendary action at least. Oh. It's like wait, what? <laughs> Double fuck. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Melgram coming at you again, buddy. 
uh, for a 19 to hit. That hits. Okay. She releases her arm. And... You take initially 20 points slashing damage. And then one. I need you to make a strength saving throw. Twenty-three succeeds. So instead of twenty-one points of thunder damage, you'll instead take ten, and not be moved. Mm. Well, Melvin is down. Get back up, little man. That is her turn. That is gonna or her legendary action that is gonna bring us from car to Gorum. What would you like to do? Hello? Hello? Okay, just making sure you can hear me. Yeah. Um Can I see Melgrim from where I'm at? I know it's like a long way. You are a long way away. I've got the eyes of a blind eagle. <laughs> um, I'll give you a perception check. Ooh. One moment. For those of you polymorph, if you would please in the temporary hit points for your character sheet, write the hit points of your form. Which for a Tyrannosaurus Rex is 136, I think. Something like that. Yep. Yeah. Ease a couple. I have rolled a nine. It's just a little bit too far for you to see over there. All right, well, I'm gonna, um, if I kind of tilt and wobble this platform, does it move at all? Uh, it seems to have responded when you first stood on it. If you'd like to try and move it, that would probably be your be your action to do so to try to m physically move it with an athletics check. Surely. Okay. Where are you gonna try to move it to? I'm gonna try to move it back to where I came from. <laughs> Just sort of in the in the direction of ever ever of your uh of the fire. Yep, in the direction of the homies. All right, make a make an athletics check for me. Twenty-three. Get about thirty feet of movement out of it. She shifted to that one right there. 
this one there was no more there's an easier way to do this but i'm not doing that yeah. oh yeah my immersion <laughs> sorry <gasps> okay all right i'm done breaking immersion all right <gasps> back into weird scary land um that's your action to do that uh anything else you want to do Screenshot. Uh, other than that, no, no, I don't, I don't think so. All right. Ending your turn, Gorum. That is going to bring us to Kashik. Kashik, what would you like to do? So, my plan is solely based on Milo responding to what I have to say to him. Okay. So, is that something I can do? We can have a very <coughs> short, small banter. Yeah. And then I jump, or potentially jump. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna say to Milo, uh, we can't just leave them, we have to go back. And wait for him to respond. What does Milo say as I replace Kashik because I accidentally, uh, yeah. oh, Lord. sent her to we... the fucking nether realm? I, uh, can we still I... hear everyone's thoughts? You can. Oh, we can? Oh. I uh, I just realized that I've been the added, uh, so um, whom is she referring to? Is I reorient myself since I've had no visuals for like a little over a turn. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm sure that uh, Milo would understand that Kasha meant our friends. Friends are all ahead of us, are they not? No, they're not. <laughs> not a lot. No, a bit. There's kind of split them. half and half. <laughs> yeah. Or in the middle. Y'all have split the party. I'm just not seeing anything. All, all I see is Artyom. We got... Uh, we got... Artyom and Gorum are uh, behind you. But everyone else is in front of you. Correct. With the package that can get us out of here, possibly. Right. And it's unconscious. I'm like the idea. Go ahead, is what I will say if I can hear them having this conversation with each other. What is it you say? I might even play and go ahead. Turn uh, it now. I mean, I'm what? playing. We, I you said that to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm gonna brain think to Gorm. See if Gorm needs us. Gorm, do you need us? Well, it's looking like a long fucking walk. <laughs> Can my little carry Gorham as well as me, or is that a no-go? <laughs> that would be up to Mr. Dungeon Master. That's who I'm asking, yeah. Your speed would be halved, but I would allow it. Gorham is strong enough to hold himself to your boots. I have um, absolutely no idea where he's at on here. He is behind you. We literally just what left him. Yeah. Would this mental link be strong enough to just sort of transmit an image of a giant gust of wind propelling a platform as fast as it could through the this plane, this weird place? And this place where oh. you are right now, 100%. All right. You got him? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? You got him? Yeah, I'm, I'm planning to jet boat Gorum on his own rock boat. Okay, fine. Go, go, go. Let's go. And then I can't really do anything because I'm just vibrating at the speed of however fast Milo goes. Would you so. like to use your action to put the fire out? Oh, fuck yeah. Thank you. Put this bitch out. Sorry. <laughs> Big bong, put the fire out. As you take another point of fire damage at the top of your turn. Oh, you son of a bitch. Use, <laughs> use the, your action to put the fire out. Okay. I'll let it burn. Uh, with the verdict being that he is going to Evan Rude, the, uh, the dwarf, I will simply continue moving. Not forward. your turn quite yet. That's Kashik's turn. That's what she said to you on her turn. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yep. My bad. <laughs> um, Got me wrapped up, Kashik. Thanks for ending my turn for me, Milo. <laughs> Reach over and hit the red button for I got you. Ding. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Actually, real quick, as my bonus action, can I actually reach into my bag and uh, grab um, some wine and take a sip of the healing wine? 
oh. uh, as your bonus action. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because I just need more HP. I'm in that. I am in misery. So you've now used two uses of your four for the healing wine. Correct. Well, I've used one. I don't know who used the other one, but it's been used. It so. was it was used beforehand. It was used beforehand. on yeah, 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 yeah. because Archie he got bring blown him. up. With a one on the oh, d4, yes. she is going to point her arm at Gandolin. Punk ass. <laughs> for a for a nineteen to hit. Uh, yes, it's my AC. Um, bring it on, chuckle nuts. Actually, don't. Um, if I can retroactively not do that, I'd, I'm gonna skip it for now. Okay. Just in case it could be better used elsewhere. So, yeah. All right. And when you take that. 14 points of piercing damage. Ow. All right. <laughs> Three. And I need you to make a strength saving throw. Oh boy. I am actually not complete garbage at these. Oh boy. Oh, he ate. Oh, that's an eight. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Her arm nope. points at you, <laughs> and these silkworms and maggots fire in your direction. You are coated in this sticky glue, and it begins to hold you down and pin you to the ground. You are Whoa. restrained. Okay. Um, that is going to be her legendary action, which is going to bring us to Artyom. I'm a, I'm a fly down to my homie here. Whoop. Wait. Oh, camera, please, thank you. I haven't been. To Uh, and I'm going to, um, did I also hear that Gorum, or that Melgrim was told that he needed to heal the old orc? You Too far away? Okay. It, this was uh, not something that someone said. This this was... Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'm going to attempt to try and push this thing when I get close to it. Okay. I don't know if it has gravity or resistance or if I can just give you an athletics check. Athletic. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da, air elemental. Okay. Uh, that is uh, 21. What's your current move speed? 90 feet. 90 feet. With that, you're going to have to put the Corta on this platform. Right, um, right. Okay. So you just place the fine interaction for him. <laughs> just yeah. plop. Uh, you'll move the platform 45 feet. With that. Okay. Would you like a measure of 45 feet? I'm thinking about how I want to do this. I'm thinking I'm just going to make you guys fly instead of the platform. That seems a lot easier. Yeah, okay. it really does. That is 45 feet My away. platform. <laughs> it's still coming with you. It's there. It's just not going to. It's there in spirit. It's doing what? And then you'll be about 10 feet behind Gorum, our team. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh. All right. Anything else for your turn? Uh, I, I think this guy's exhausted. I mean, and he doesn't need healing. So under that presumption, I'm going to not use my bonus action to use a fourth level healing word on him at first level. Does he look unconscious? He looks very much unconscious. You said you're going to do what, Artyom? 
Well, I, I asked you earlier, and you said that he looked completely exhausted, like he had kept this up for a long time. So I was under the assumption I, I that healing... I never used the term exhausted. I said oh. you would assume that when you touch this thing, you took psychic damage. Oh, okay. I completely misunderstood that. I thought you were saying he was keeping up this resistance for so long that... Okay. Yeah, then I will absolutely heal the shit out of this guy if he seems like he's taking damage into being unconscious. Okay. Go and roll healing. Oh, that's a... That's a one. That's a fourth level spell for six points of healing. Wow, that's garbo. <laughs> it's a healing word, right? Yeah, healing word. A Does D4 it go by for one every D4? level. So you do 4D4. I can cast first level spells as a as an elemental. That's right. That's right. So I cast it at first level <laughs> with a fourth level slot. <laughs> okay. So Life comes at you fast, doesn't it? He has Archim? six hit points. He has six hit points. <laughs> Eyes weak. He blinks his eyes open. Takes a minute to get his surroundings. Rise and shine, you need to get us the fuck out of here right now. <laughs> he just gets in his head. And you hear in your head and the rest of you his thoughts ripple out. Oh, I take that back. Uh, that's a third level spell. I did not know I had a third level spot left. So I'll keep the fourth level and use a third level healing for, for sure. Six points. You hear sort of ripple out from him. It'll just stay weak voice. Get close. That's it. Um, and everyone hears that. Hard, you hear a voice that you haven't heard in some time now. You hear the voice of Corta Orla of Torn in your head telling you to get close. It's just kind of chugging this thing along just sort of say to Gorum mentally I'm going to need to uh, make sure no bugs knock this guy right back out. <laughs> if you can handle that for me. <laughs> when you heal him and he speaks out stillness takes the grounds once more. Quiet. Bilara who's looking at those and just picking off the weaker ones at her feet stops and looks in the to the distance those that are nearby Gandawin, Crowley, Carr you see her form just disperse into an uncountable amount of insects in front of you and she seeps into the ground under all of your feet rumbling the earth shaking and shattering. No more than a hundred feet on the opposite side of you, RTM, away from your friends. A tidal wave of black insects with Valara's face in the middle erupts from the earth, taking up the skyline as high as you can see and as wide as you can see for miles. A massive swarm making its way towards all of you. Nothing stopping it. That's where we're going to end tonight's session. Ah, shit. Fuck <laughs> me. Ah, yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Nice stuff. Hell yeah. Rut roll. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for joining us. If you're still around, uh, we're going to go ahead and switch over to our, our main screen here. Blam, blam, blam. All right. We're going to do this real quick. All right. So thanks so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Uh, if you have not quite yet, make sure you drop a follow or a like and subscribe. If you are over there on YouTube, where we are also streaming, um, you should, in the meantime, uh, pray for these guys or send them some good vibes or, you know, something. Of that effect um so yeah 
Uh, we are Hard Knock Dice. We stream on Mondays and Saturdays. On Mondays, we do Ghost of Salt Marsh, DM by the homeboy right over here, Danoid, or Hello. at Fear the AOA, or at Ian. Um, and we do that at 7 p.m. I almost said 5. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Oh, I'm sitting here saying time. 5 the whole time. I'm sitting here like, 5 p.m., 5, 5. It's 7. 7 p.m. on Mondays, Eastern Standard Time, and then on... Saturdays we do this, the Ebron campaign, where we all almost die of anxiety. So at um, 5 p.m. <laughs> and this is at 5 p.m. So we're gonna be raiding some friends that are also streaming some Dungeons and Dragons. Make sure you go give them some love. Uh and we will see you guys next time. Much love. Bye. Bye. Bye.